All right, microphone check. Hey, we're going to do this a second time. Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 61. Um, we had some technical difficulties, but it's, it's okay because we bike. Um, the whole gang bike. is in the building. Uh, Mr. J here, I'm here. Taylor Bay is here. Alexander Blanc is here. You already know, for everybody that's new to the show, uh, I am the Gemini. Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. And then our, our, our producer, Alex. Just yeah, he's just, a he's a cancer, you know what I'm saying? Tell big cancer. Big cancer, cancer vibes. Cancer energy. Yes, hey. cancer energy. Yo, the whole gang is in the building. Let's run through this. Lante Bass God is here. Gio DeLeo is in the building. Joseph D. Friend is in the building. Pink Celebrity is in the building. Uh, and of course, we got Lex in the city in the building. Al Barton. Shout out to Lex. Three X's, four Three Y's. X's. Hey, we about to, um, can we take the shot? I'm going to take a shot. We'll take a shot. Ooh, Cheers. We're going to take a shot. Let's take a shot, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. And of course... Our uh, special guest is in the building, Foon Show and Raro. How y'all hey. doing today? Good. Good, good, good. Y'all good? Yeah. Yes. All right, so um, we're going to do this again because, you know, we have some technical difficulties. First, It happens. First yeah. 61 episodes. So to let good. the people right. know, good, we, went, good. Uh, <laughs> we went a <laughs> good... Talk the numbers. Uh-huh. <laughs> to let the people know, we went a good 25 minutes. Some technical difficulties did happen, so we have to start this over. Yeah. But, you know, we're going to let everybody do their thing because, you know, Fuck it, let's authentic cheers vibes. Cheers. Hey, take a shot to that? Hey. Oh, side note, bro. Because I've seen this. You can just move that out, too. You don't have to, like... A word? Yeah. 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 You don't have to, like... Oh, you're slinking past yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro, that's awkward as fuck. Let's take a shot to that. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, gosh. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, again. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to our, uh, our, our bartender, Lex in the City. Make sure you follow her, Lex in the City. That's four, three X's, four Y's, mm. Lex in the City. Make sure you book her for private events. She do all that, man. She, she, she do, do uh, what she do. Best. Yeah, she, she, God damn, yeah. getting us right. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. She do all type of events. I mean, she do like strip clubs. She do stripper parties. Mm. She do uh, bar mitzvahs. No. She do <laughs> like, I mean, shit for the right price. She fucking around. No, man. Um, hey, yo. <laughs> L- L- make sure L- you book her. You L- know what L- 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 I'm just saying the price is right. Come on set, down. Set, <laughs> no? All right. right I'm sorry. No. See what happened? <laughs> see what happens on the second go round? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying, like shit. For the right I mean, price, you might give me a poor good drink. To have a diverse <laughs> portfolio. Okay. So I'll go. wear some speedos <laughs> for the right price. For the right price, <laughs> you know, anything let, is bound let, to happen. Let you know he keeps trying to take over your job, so you know he can't wait. Put his speedo on. Put his speedo on and pour his drinks. <laughs> for the right price, the price is okay. right. But anyway, um, oh, wow. yo, shout out to our, our, our sponsor, Mahi's Brandy, Black yes, owned sir. DMV base. Make sure you ho- yeah. holler at him. Uh, on Instagram, that's M A H E E S B R A N D Y. My he's Brandy, mm. black owned DMV base, man. We supporting nothing but black owned businesses over here. Yes, sir. You're looking good. Thanks, yes. babe. You, you already know. You I got me a little stylist, you know what I'm saying? And she's in the audience right now. This is a vintage, you know, authentic little piece. You ain't going to find this. Shout out to Ray underscore O O T D. She does stylist photography. Stylist, if you got a photo shoot, excuse me, it's the drink. My bad. <laughs> Stylist, if you got a photo shoot, you got any upcoming events, any, you know, if you're doing a runway, holla at Ray underscore OOTD. She is here with her partner. Shout out to Ronnie and Core. We up. Yeah. yeah. You just did that like a whole commercial. Like, yeah, because, yeah, and we up. It's, it's like that. <laughs> we up, it's and it's up, and it's stuck. And it's stuck. <laughs> and it's stuck. All right, so uh, man, man, first of all, we're going to um, do this again, man. We're going to ask, <laughs> yo, how was you guys' weeks? Um, Bay, how was your week? I don't know after that shot. You know? <laughs> I forgot. Say, say, I forgot. Say, um, right. no, um, as I was saying before, you know, I had a great week this week. I did get to see my friends. You know, mm. we've been through a pandemic. It's hard to see your friends. And I got the love on my sisters. So that's always a vibe. Yeah. Uh, I got to do two girls nights this week, which never happened. So mm. that was awesome for me. Got let me recharge and, yeah. you know, just really, you know, get in my bag. So right. I really felt really good after that just mm. vibing with my sisters you know what i'm saying and i'm the baby sis so they're all older than me so i just always enjoy being around you know established working hard women that's doing a thing and it just felt really good to just sit with my sisters and like you know be inspired so i really just i love that i fucked with it that's good yeah. i fuck with it too but i know you thought yeah. i was upset but i wasn't i was happy for you i was like sure. in, in the bed snapping for you like yeah, for sure. but until you came home like super late one day and i was like yeah I mean, you know what I'm saying, but I feel like it let's should be... talk about this. Let's unpack it. Yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like yeah. I feel like it should be like a, a, a. Yeah, he's saying he was good, but he had a little edit. No, nah, really, was fine. I just yeah. feel like one day she did come in super late, and I feel like we should have a curfew. Like, but no, 
I said we. Uh, girl. No. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, so now it's not a respectable so time included. to come in the house so, when you got a partner. So okay. Here's cool. No, I do. Now we doing hold single shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I do agree that you do have to come in the house at a respectable time, but I do mm-hmm. think you have to think logically on your time. So, for example, you know, we hit DC. DC shuts down at ten. There's no drinking. So where right. do people go after Virginia? Virginia so closes at about two. That. No, Virginia closes at two. So if I get home at three, because I parked at you my friend's get home house, at three. I got home at three thirty. Got home at four. I got home at three thirty. Swear to God on my life. It's, okay, so I mean, but there's traffic. No, 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 no. Keep that same energy when I come I home at four o'clock. That's what I'm asking for. I will. Let me tell you why. So we went to DC. My girl does nails. She did my nails before we went out. She lives in Upper Marlboro. I parked at her house. She mm-hmm. drove. See, so if we, if we drive... Not, not Upper Marlboro if, is very Right, far. so if we drive yeah. from Upper Marlboro to D.C., then to Virginia, then we get from Virginia to her house, and then I got to take my car and drive back to Laurel. Come on. I mean, what, yes. were saying, what were we saying earlier? Mathematically. Mathematically, Ma- it I'm makes sense. Yes. No, so no, as long no, as that's no, logical... Now, 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 if I came home at 6 and Virginia closed at 2, and that now it's like, okay, bitch, you're wilding. Okay, like, cool. I'm going to tell you. you feel what I'm math- Mathematically, right, since we're using the words... You had added... Math- Mathematically, you had an attitude. Okay, you know fine, that's fine. Math- you said you did it. No, no, no. Accountability. no that, that moment, you came home late. I kind of was a little irritated. But again, mathematics. I came home, you know, the first thing I said, sorry, baby, I'm late. Like, da 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 da. It's not like I came home, like, move over, give me the sheets. I said, <laughs> the first thing I said to him, the first thing I said, I, I know I'm a little late. This is why. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Boom. He was like, it's okay. The communication baby. was that. Like, it's coming out on a podcast, but he was. Yeah. Uh, uh, there, there he, like, oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. No worries. Mathematically, I, let me tell you what it is. What? Now. What? What? Mathematically, what? let me tell you what it is. <laughs> okay. It's some bullshit. Cause <laughs> like, cause let me come home and say, you know, babe, like I was this and that and that. You know what she wants to oh, say? Like, you should have thought about that before you oh, did it. Oh, like the time, the like the time you was at the club, then you went to the studio to hang out. Yeah, and then like that home, time exactly. And then like fell asleep time. in the car and then Exa- walked in the yep. house at five thirty. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Mathematic, mathematic. No, but exactly. Like yeah, but you see the difference. You that, see, that, exactly. That, that, that don't. That's not. That don't mathematically. It doesn't. It it doesn't add up. It doesn't. So if you go to the club and decide I'm going to the studio, but okay, so and but I'm saying, as long as I, right, I fucked as long up, as and, then, and then just fall asleep in the car, and then say come in at five thirty, like damn. Baby, the club ended at one thirty. Exactly. And listen, that I, got you, I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Now you got us. Now we 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 got us. Now However, you went out, then you decided you wanted I'm to go, go to, go to the, the studio. I'm gonna let y'all finish. And added I'm go something to else studio. onto the agenda. Exactly. Okay, so that let me finish. So, so, so communicated before you Ex- left the house. On. So you ready? You ready? Thank you for so having me. So guess what? Okay. No, 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 you know what she just said, right? You know, D.C. closed at 10. So everybody go at the D.C. I ain't know nothing about Virginia. Never knew that. I but you knew I was going out with my girls for drinks, period. So again. Not no studio. Not to my girl's house. Not to so none you, of that. We went out for a drink. So again, there's always some <laughs> bullshit when it comes to. Yo, I'm going to tell you why. Oh, or you again. just don't like to hold up Listen, accountability. I am. I said, when you first said it, I said. You said I you was wrong. Up. I'm sorry, I said I was wrong. You ain't said it then, though. I, that, you can't. I, I, what? We took what, a two-year. Okay, cool. You're right. I was okay, right. in the car. I didn't say it then. Again, fucked up. Again. Okay. What I'm saying Thank is, you. me and my girls are going out for drinks. The club closes at 10 in D.C., so I'm expecting no, to go home. No, the clubs don't close. The drinks stop at 10. Mm. So hold that. Be politically correct. Okay. <laughs> I don't gotta say nothing else because she's gonna speak for herself. I am. That's it. Hey, Alex, how was your week, bro? <laughs> <laughs> week <was> great. <laughs> Mr. Studio. I don't have to say shit. Like, you don't. I know. We know. <laughs> Make sure y'all drop in the comments with y'all because y'all know. Come on, run it up, please. Now we're a YouTube couple. Drop yeah. in the comments. Like, <laughs> like subscribe, like, like share. Like, like, like uh. subscribe, share. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? We ring that bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Ding ding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they want to sing it real bad, Monique. He want to sing it. He want to sing don't. it. <laughs> it's not. That's not my shit. I ain't with you. Go ahead. How was your week? My week was great. <laughs> it was a wonderful week. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for week. the mediation, Alex. <laughs> Love you. Kept it concise. <laughs> Raro. <laughs> How was your week, Raro? My week was good. So I got to go out to Virginia Beach and. Oh, you was in Virginia too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout gathering. out to Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all what holding going it down. Y'all yeah, holding it down. I need to check out Virginia because clearly I'm missing the memo. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I was able to recharge and refill just like my girl. Alex, oh, just like, oh. Like, there even. must be a big charge in Virginia because y'all all recharging like shit. Shout out oh. to the sister circle. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really good. Like, I feel like... Um, mm. I was really stressed out, really burnt out, and like I needed to get away, go visit my sister. And so um, she was like, Yeah, come visit me. Like, just have like kind of like Girl all time. expense paid. Yeah. Uh, that too. Girl time, but an all expense paid um, vacation. And we love it. Yeah, so mm. it was nice. Like, she handled everything, yes. and like just the weather it was good. Sense. It was so it was a good, good time. Yeah, mm. The weather was good. Yeah. Right. Over that, like, that right. was the best mm-hmm. it's been in Virginia. It's been really it was in, really in good. Virginia. Mm-hmm. Agreed. <laughs> That's yeah. where y'all getting the charge from. Yeah. 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 <laughs> in, 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 in Virginia. <laughs> Emphasis <Yeah>. on Virginia. Here go Jay. I'm just kidding. Here go Jay. There must be some like, niggas in nah, Virginia. Nah, I, I ain't said, I just feel like. There was no niggas. There was no niggas. I'm just Girl. curious. I feel like, you know, like, usually when you got a lot going on, you go to the to the, to the the dresser or to the bedroom to get recharged. You know what I'm saying? You, you get that thing that was plugged up for them hours and you recharge off of that. I thought that's how you. No? That's not. I that's how you was that's not a proper recharge. No, I needed to go to Virginia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so the so the uh the um the toy ain't getting it right no more. The vibrator ain't getting it right. No, nah, it do what it needs. It does what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> However, you know, it's just not enough charge for you. It's you gotta not, go to Virginia. I had to go out. Okay. You know what I'm saying if I could take that out with me. Whoa! Why would you take it out with you? Spontan spontaneity. Mm-hmm. The question is, you want to send me a video? Sure. You capping like shit. Phone mm-hmm. show. How was your week, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my week was good. Um, I finished my album. Yes. Um, it was really good. She Christmas present was hella studio hours. Yeah. Ooh. So I. I Damn. So you still had some. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Is so, cool. um, that, that helped out Ladies, a lot. Ladies, take notes. If you have a rapper or singer boyfriend. <laughs> that was okay. love. So I got studio hours. He will love you. Exactly. <laughs> I loved you before I... the studio hours, but yeah. I definitely loved you a little bit more after the studio. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, recorded, finished up the album at Vault Studios, um, and and that's that was cool. So I got to see, also got to see some friends I ain't seen yeah. in a minute because mm-hmm. of, um, you know, COVID and everything. Um, so had a little chill gathering. He gonna make me Obviously. say it again. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. like, you yeah. doing it on purpose. This like, yeah. 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 I'm late. I was letting him go because I'm gonna wait here because at this point you just did something else. We got think. You know something lit. Oh. Oh, now you're acting at this point. I swear. Okay, Robert De Niro. Fucking Denzel Washington. I'll take it. But but um. Yeah, I, I sang at the Clippers game. I sang yes, the National Anthem. That was pretty cool. And that's yeah. cool as fuck. Yeah. First it's off, the humble awesome. flex for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was awesome. That was really I got really a question cool for you, bro. Yeah. Do you feel like sometimes when we're not going through our, like when we need to recharge, we need to be with our woman? And, I, and do you feel like is the opposite with them because when they need to recharge, they want to go to Virginia. <laughs> I feel like sometimes when I need to like, recharge, I like my like charger is sitting right here. Podcast right. done. Episode six. That's, that's what I'm <laughs> fucking saying. Like, why is it different? Like what? L O L. I ain't got. I ain't got to charge nothing in me. No cap though. I feel like. I feel like no. The first go around, I said I don't need to recharge, so it ain't. It ain't cap. Yeah. No. Okay. All I'm saying, I feel like you know, as men, when we're go- when we're going through something, I feel like I need my woman to to really be there to comfort me. Do you nah. feel the same? I mean, well, I, I I definitely do feel that. You know. You said not really quickly though. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but 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 in all like in all seriousness though, like I feel like it is important for like respectively, like for her to have her time to like go and like, you know, do whatever she needs to do to feel like at peace or relaxed or or unburnt out. You know yeah. what I mean? Just get have some time to do whatever creative yeah. things or or anything that she needs to do, just kinda escape, you know, because Life's kind of crazy, especially yeah. right now, yeah. you know, yeah. and the same for, for us, for me, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, whether it's, you know, going out, linking up with the homies or, um, you know, just hooping or 
playing video games you know what i mean like it's important for us to have that time for just to be like what do i want to do do to like make myself happy or yeah. feel good you, know yeah. I mean? you don't feel like it's hard to do to do those things when your woman is around yeah definitely yeah video <laughs> games because, are not allowed yeah because mm -hmm. you games are not allowed okay mom like shit like i'm sorry <laughs> can i play some <laughs> cod I mean, mrs raw raw i apologize <laughs> I mean, like, like can i have this, some recess and this <laughs> mama we're Rose. grinding and like we need to accomplish things so like do you have like the free time to be playing video games or should you be investing that time would you prefer into i went to, to virginia because <laughs> clearly you got time to go to virginia but we can't have time to play the, this uh, is that. exactly the double standard you travel i can't play video games hey, I mean, uh, I guess we like, might yeah. have to take we might have to take a couple trips so, to virginia <laughs> Clearly. Hey, and you know what? <laughs> as long as, I'm just, as, I'm just long, kidding, but honestly, as like, long as you don't do it when I'm doing it, I don't care. So you know what I'm saying? I feel like I, I feel don't like care. we have to make time for each other, and yeah. we have to make, make time, time for to like, yourself to be intent. Right, we have yeah. to make time to be intentional about like going on dates or like really just being you know intimate and together. You know yeah. when we're together. Yeah. You know that's, what I mean? But then at the same time, we gotta like make time for. But I think it's a balance thing because you need time for self. your intimacy and in your relationship. You need time for your work. You need time for yourself. You right. need time for individuality. Like. You need time together. It's it's a balance thing, and yeah. I think that's where you know it gets good. And I know you. I hear you guys both saying, I, you know, I could be with you to recharge. And I think sometimes I feel like men might chew me up to say this. Chew but you I'm gonna up? Say it. What, what the fuck? You said you. I didn't say chew on my clip. I said chew it. Up, chew me up to say this. That escalated so quick. Okay, because he. Because I know. How did we get here? Because I know where his mind went. Because you, you know said chew me up. That's the first thing I thought about. So I know exactly. you're the only one that thinks so that. I was like, right. Shit, you knew right. you said. I, I know because I. Knew. I know I ain't the only one that thinking one thing, I know as a nigga somewhere said, like, oh, we gonna chew you. I want to chew you up. By. It's the one thing I know is my nigga. So. You know what I'm saying? But all that. You always want to give a nigga an extra visual. Like, down, men going to chew me up. I never no, heard anybody say that ever like... in my life. Ever. <laughs> like, so you, you know never heard that. Ever. That. I heard people say, like, shit, I might get canceled for this. Or men ain't going to like this. I never. They going to chew me up for this one. Anyway, so I was going to say, I do think I do think women are better at intentionally balancing things mm -hmm. when it comes to everyday life. You know, yeah. and I only say that because, you know, since the stereotype is for men to be providers, they're always working. And yeah. I can say for the both of you guys, you guys are always working. But I think women balance a lot as well. So they also just have that instinct like, you know what, it's time to have family time. It's time to take some time myself. I need right. to go get my hair done. I need to go yeah. get my nails done, get a pedi so I could just feel, you know what I'm saying? I think men sometimes are so gun hold on working that they forget to take the time out to their self. And yeah. it's okay, you know what I'm saying? However, you know, I think women are here to remind and give that inspiration that you also can take time out for yourself too. Right. Hmm. You always so upset. Agree I'm with that. I'm not. I'm Come not upset. On. Yeah, you gotta start this out. No, no, babe. You can never. No, 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 no. She no. was actually advocating for you to do something for yourself. No, Thank she, you. No, no, no. Thank you. No, 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 no. no it's okay. She, she, she's advocating, but it's a difference, right? Yeah. Let me tell you why. Because I'm gonna break it down for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Soon as Foon Show said, you know, we have time to play the game. You said you ain't gonna play the game when I'm around, right? Then I said, okay. I might want to do something. Then Sade said, as long as you don't do it when I plan to yeah. do it. So it ain't no fucking time to do it when we want to. Because clearly, if I play the game mm -hmm. when you're around, it's a problem. But then when I play the game when you're not around, no. it's a problem. I'm confused. That, what? It don't make sense. It don't mathematically make sense. That's not Rara accurate. Rara literally said. We should call this episode <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> Listen. Rara literally said, you ain't playing a game yeah. around me. Because and if you got time, hold up. Yeah. If you got time, I love you, babe. Yeah. If you got time to play the game, you got time to invest in basically do some work, right? Right, right. right. Okay, cool. So if I can't do it around you, mm. and you don't want me to do it when you're not here, when can I do it? No, I didn't say I not do it when I'm not here. Not That's not what I said. I said just out. don't try to just because I'm doing it, do it when I do it. Do it for yourself because you want to do it. Don't wait till I do it for me. Mm -hmm. I do also want to see you take time to take care of yourself. So do it on your own accord. Like, you know what, babe? I think I'm going to hang with the fellas on Friday. You know, just take a time. That's a different. It's intentional. It's like, yeah, do that. But if you wait till I'm about to do something, it's like, you know what, since you're going out, I'm going to go well. I think that that is not the same as intentionally taking your time for yourself. I feel like on the That's contrary, though, right? If if you're available and right. you're not doing nothing, right? And I'm being intentional about not planning something when you're free. You know what I mean? Right? So, because that, that means I'm, 
I'm trying to you. I'm trying to utilize the, the quality time. <laughs> I'm trying to utilize the quality. You understand what I'm saying? Like so, like if if I know you're gonna be busy, I'm like, okay, well, this we, is my time. We can't have quality time because she's gonna be busy. So like, okay, this will be the most opportune time for me to get some me time. Where it doesn't affect our ability to be together and be but intimate. Do you feel like it bodes well for like opportunists? What do you it mean? bodes well. I love the opportunity. Opportunity. I hate it. I love the vocabulary. I don't even understand what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him, right? Talk to him, I bro. just feel as if like be intentional about making whatever plans it is. Like so, because I was intentional when I decided that I was going to hang out with my friends. Mm. Mm-hmm. So then you should be intentional as well, because now it feels like, and. I think it's different. It depends on what relationship you're yeah. in. With us, it's like it's healthy. Like we get each other. But then in past relationships, maybe that could be triggering because it's like, oh, now like you're like, okay, yeah. she has a plan. She's doing something. So now it's my time to like yeah. do my sneaky mm-hmm. ass shit. Like whoa, 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 whoa. my mind never even goes about sneaky. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I don't. My mind never goes. And the thing sneaky, is with him, sneaky. I never think anything sne- like sneaky. Like mm-hmm. I trust him. Like I'm like even my sister. She noticed yeah. the difference when I was in Virginia Beach. And she was like, oh, you guys don't talk all day because with my exes, I would yeah. be talking all you know, day. You at? You but going? I was talking all day because yeah. I need to know where the fuck he was. Yeah. With Funcho, I knew Funcho was at home. Like, and Playing then, a game. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, love it. Yeah. So it's like my mind was at peace. Yeah. Like, but yeah. it just, it, it would feel good. Why are you it would snoring? Feel good. Right, oh, right, my, my, my right. Problem. You I'm know sorry. what? You I'm know what? It would feel good to know that you guys had the intention to make your plans as well, and it yeah. wasn't like reactive versus right. yeah. proactive. And I think yeah. you know, I think the intention behind that is us being intentional, spending our quality time with our woman. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like I, I can't speak for my phone show. I feel like, and it's been moments where I wanted to kick it with my friends, but then I wasn't being fair. Or yeah. like with men, I feel like women are y'all very, and I can't speak for every man, but. Let me just speak for myself. So with <laughs> me, <laughs> me and my boys, we might not plan something two Fridays from now, right? right. It might be, mm. it might be Friday and be like, "Yo, I heard such and such got a happy hour." It's, time it's not even like it might be. It's that's how it all. Yeah, works. you yeah. know what I'm saying. So it's like, all right, bet I'm gonna yep. pull up. Now it's like, oh, you was working all week and now you want to hang with your friends. You could have used that time to hang with me. And it's like, okay, I learned through my my, my experiences, right? And now it's your like, mistakes. you know what? When I have free space, when I have free time. I'm going to use that time wisely and I'm going to spend it with my with my woman. So, and that's why I say I feel like guys are not good at balancing because I feel like if you If already, I ever say girls ain't good at whatever. You do all the time. You told a girl to get a plan B last week. So, I don't, I, I, you, you, talk, you talk on women all the time. So, anyway, all I'm saying is, uh, what are we talking about? So uh, That's damn. balance. Uh, that's <laughs> balance. If, I, if it ain't balance, I don't know what it is. Podcast over. Podcast episode 61. Yo, niggas, wow. So, no, but because I feel like if you were already intentional on making time for your girl, you would also have the time to go on, on Friday with your guys. Mm. So, if you are working, it's like, you know what, let me be intentional about giving my girl some time on Wednesday where we can, to, I can be intentional on our date night or, right. you know, just spend an actual time with her, no work included on Wednesday. Then if my boy's on Friday, because typically we know that everybody is f- typically on the weekend trying to do something, then mm. just in case my niggas want to do something on the weekend, I'm going to be free because I already took my girl out. Right. But because you don't, not not saying you don't but i'm saying because you probably didn't think to take your girl out and you probably didn't then friday comes it's like my boys won't go out yo damn i gotta go out but my girl gonna be <laughs> mad but realistically you just wasn't even intentional to think about your girl or making it make sense for the both of you mm-hmm. so kind of to segue a little bit so, talk to him, it's Alex. a great time because we're all creatives yeah we, yes. we kind of touched on it a little bit because we were talking about time uh there's a roller coaster ride with, with the creative space, right? Facts. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you all maintain, like, creativity? I mean, intimacy within that roller coaster of creative, of that creative space. Right. Like, when there's highs and lows within that. For for us, like, prior to um, the pandemic, like, I feel like we both were very, very, like, active on the social scene because yeah. she's in media mm-hmm. and I'm in entertainment. You know, we're both in entertainment, but in different realms. Right. Um, so I'm always doing shows or were, was always constantly doing shows um, and at events and stuff like that. And she always was, you know, you know, covering an event yeah. or yeah. being invited to different social networking events and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were always doing stuff. We yeah. were always going out. We yeah. were always 
at you know venues yeah. and places but yeah. we were never really dating dating yeah. you know what i mean like it was we, just like it was yeah. work right it yeah. was still work and we, we felt like we were we, well we do stuff yeah we go out yeah. you know what i mean yeah but then we realized we weren't intentional about like hey let me and you spend time together just right. for that purpose right. right you know what i mean and because then it almost looks the same if you think about it we still get dressed up we got we drinks yeah. fancy. we got some food yeah. you know what I'm food is drink so yeah. it almost is the same vibe except the intent behind the vibe yeah, is different. right. Okay, yeah. being intentional. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like sometimes that it's hard to to in, intentionally date your partner if you on the lower end of that roller coaster ride? Like you, you might have a lot of things going on. You know what I'm saying? Like you might not got a a, a few shows this month like right. you got last month. You might not mm -hmm. um had the same interviews or the same quality interviews mm -hmm. this month that you had last yeah. month. So it's like, does it take away the motivation from being intentional when you're dating your partner? Do you almost forget about them because like I'm so frustrated at what I'm going through? Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it. I feel like for us at mm -hmm. least specifically, um, I know I know once we realized that we weren't dating, we we started being more intentional about like going yeah. out and yeah. like you know whether it's just going to the movies before the movies shut down yeah. and you know or like right. going to get food. Um, and but when the pandemic, I know like um Raro can elaborate on this. Like when the pandemic hit, you know. We realized that once we weren't going out, you know, we kind of got like really comfortable with just like a Netflix and chill or just being yeah. in the house, yeah. you know. Yeah. So like we had to kind of just turn on that like intentionality again. Yeah. You know what I mean, and it's yeah. like even also like just realizing that basically we weren't really dating mm. during those times. So so and being we, honest about yeah. that, being like, like, she was very that. very very communicative. Very, yeah. <laughs> I like, was. She was. I. You know. I was. I was give aware. Me more, what, the more, was give me more like, insight. Yeah. She was very, very communicative. Uh -huh. I want to see it. Like, what would she say? What are some things she yeah. did? Yeah. <laughs> How? Oh, if uh, you can act the out right now, we play charades. Let me see. Oh, nothing but pleasant. Oh, I assure you. I assure you. I got a life after this podcast, hey, you know. Hey, fool, so I think you know. Um, we it's, could it's just the date some more. Right, exactly like right, that. Yeah, like, yeah, like hey, you know, like, I just you know, you like, I think it would be nice if like we just we did more stuff. And I was like, you know what, babe? Yeah, you're right. I hear that you. was. I just felt like I needed to communicate like just pleasantly, right. And just kind of really like come to him that it's not aggressive right. it wasn't as if i was attacking and that was him, the best but i was it. offering a suggestion right so that's and, like um, what we did that's so dope because like on our side so you're like hey, you need to fucking date me and i'm like man fuck you ain't dating you like you get a motherfucking her date me like, 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 like we're lying like shit though like, like, exactly. y'all can, exactly. can be y'all because we, exactly. we ain't scared <laughs> we ain't scared of y'all motherfuckers like shit like you're toxic sometimes yeah, and that's okay yeah. like, but no it was stressful sometimes because like even just thinking i'm like i'm seeing and maybe it's Instagram too. Yeah. Like I'm seeing people go on dates. I'm seeing mm. them do Real this cute. and that. Real and I'm cute. like, okay, okay, am I not deserving? Right. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, we're engaged baby, now. I and I'm like, you're not chasing me the way I feel like I need to be chased. Mm. Like you're not pursuing me. It's like not applying. Do you, it's not giving pressure. Think, mm. Do you think you just got me now so you don't have to date me? Like Ooh. I want to go on dates. I want to like go I out. Get like, I want to dress up. Okay. Yeah, I want to get pretty. It's like. The other week also, too, we went to the bygone and then oh, yeah. we did the paint mm. date and everything, too. So it was like he heard. And like so he's been very intentional about it. But yeah. it's like I think sometimes you lose that intention and then you get so yeah. comfortable mm. that you don't realize, like, how do we keep it fresh? Yeah. How do we keep it spicy? Yeah. Because right. it's like there's no reason why we should be acting like a yeah. 35 year or a 35 been married for 35, 35 years, years but type even, of couple even, but even you saying that as if that's a normalcy i don't even think it should right. apply it that way, right yeah. it should always right. be like, yeah you know we say like you know we've been married for 35 years but i feel like anybody who keep been married fresh. for 35 years had to be doing something they figured yeah. it out, they figured yeah. it out. Yeah. you know what i'm saying so so let's talk about let's talk about this part because i feel like we were talking mm -hmm. about sex last time right mm -hmm. and you were saying that you know like you might not even you might not even want to like be yeah. sexually active yeah. with your partner if you don't feel sexy if, yeah. if, if these things yeah, ain't happening I, had, I told jay about that like you know like you know like you know like i like to get cute i like to go out i like a vibe and you know because we're working from home and it took away of the every day having to get up every morning and actually have to get dressed it's almost like you have to even be an intentional about that like right. i have to be intentional even of keeping myself up because realistically i don't have to like i don't know about nobody else i don't have to show my camera on my zoom ins like just to be honest so mm. like if i get up like and i have to work i literally can keep my motherfucking bonnet <laughs> on keep my fucking t-shirt no drawers on and sit right. at my desk and do what i gotta do but to be intentional about getting up and getting dressed and i feel like you know because of that one pandemic i already don't have to do that and if 
you know, we are in a comfortable space where I'm really don't have no reason to get up and get dressed and get cute. Nine times out of 10, I don't really feel at my highest self. Like I'm out here just being regular. I'm sitting here yeah. bonded on. So a lot of times, like I'm probably not feeling sexy. So if I'm yeah. not feeling sexy, I probably don't want to get sexy. You get what I'm saying? That's in a the good bedroom. Point. Yeah. Like, so like if I'm not feeling like a reason, and you know, not to say like some people might let, love to do it with their body on, but you know, me, I like to look like a porn star when I fuck. So I'm just being honest. I want to have whole face be eh. like you know what I'm saying like so at that point like you know I want to be cute I want to be sexy yeah. but I want to be in a vibe most yeah. importantly and that's you such know what a I'm good saying? point where now you, you are said like because a porn usually star. the sex really does Psycho. happen actually you get when after you get home so right. it's after you exactly. went on a date after yeah. I got home or right? like you had a Sunday fun day what is yeah. it no, now we go on a Sunday yeah. now Brooklyn. we look good you yeah. like baby come here you yeah. look good come here I'm like yeah yes you feel what I'm saying so you know but if I'm in a body, I'm not about to be like, yes. Like, what I'm supposed to do is take my wig off. Yes. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Shade, the main one will come home, go in the bathroom, wipe out makeup off, take the wig off, put the wig, keep the wig cap on and be like, you ready? <laughs> no, I ain't ready, man. The fuck? Like, you like my fucking Oscar the Gross. Like, I like, no, I'm not ready. First I'm not. Of I'm not. First you don't look like a pro right now. We are beautiful in all first of First of all, okay, I am okay. very beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped a no filter, no face. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could do both. But you got the Meek Mills <laughs> in <laughs> talking about something bad. You ready? Like, no. It just came first out. Of, yo, that <laughs> so, was. I ain't gonna, I get, I ain't gonna, I get busy with the Meek Mills, too. I run my fingers through your hair. You know what I'm saying? Do the braids. It's fine with me. So. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I smack the back of your neck. Bow, you getting a little hang time. I grab the back of your braids. You know what I'm saying? That shit growing. Whoever don't, you know what I'm saying? They should know you're right. I actually it's, it's just shout out to Monique hair, shampoo mm -hmm. bars. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so nonetheless, but I'm talking about just on a consistent base. Like, so yeah, like say I had a long ass day. I probably do come home, wipe my makeup because I'm really thinking I'm getting to bed. But it's like, damn, I know I got to give my nigga some box. So <laughs> <laughs> some box, some head, a little bit more, yeah, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, but it's like, but I'm also, but I'm also <laughs> tired. So, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to have to do a little of both. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want these meat meals in that or... I'm going to sleep. So, yeah. but like, it doesn't, <laughs> change, the but it doesn't change the performance, like, right? So, but like on a regular though, like, you know, for, you know, you talking about something like, I, I need to eat. Look, sometimes, you know, made me feel sexy. Baby, get dressed. We're so is, it, is, it, is like, it our job as men to make, to make you guys want to feel sexy or? I don't think do it's your you job. You I don't you think it's your job because I, you know, I am big on, you know, women making sure that they're intentional about uh, their upkeep. Like I am mm. one of those women. I do keep up, upkeep, even though, you know, I was making a point when I was talking about the pandemic, but I am one of those people who have to completely kept up with myself mm. through the pandemic. It's not because it's for a guy or anything. That's just what makes me feel Personally, good. So yeah. that's what I have to do to stay uplifted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't go into like down spells. It's like, damn, I'm feeling down, like whatever. Yeah. However, I do think it is a part of your partner's job to reassure you that you are very pretty and that yeah. you do look really good and I like when you get dressed and I like when your hair is done and I like when your nose is done yeah. I like when your toes is together I like you know the pedicure toes on my neck I like all of that you know what so, I'm saying I do think that's you know so what if because I feel like I, I, I do a, a really good I'm gonna get myself my roses yeah, get, I feel like I do a really good job <laughs> at telling you look good yeah, you but do. I don't have to say that you look like I I think on my mm -hmm. my side, I tell you look good a lot when you don't have makeup on. Yeah, right? yeah. Like I don't mind the makeup. Yeah, yeah. So if if that's yeah. what I like, right, and I'm complimenting mm -hmm. you on that, and that's just mm -hmm. not your style, and that's not what's, what mm -hmm. what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Like, how do we compromise? Because I, I just feel like you know, I I think even confident women, even without makeup or nothing, like mm -hmm. we still want to hear it. So yeah. like you know, it's like even if I don't but if you're have hearing my, it, but here's the but thing, you but you don't feel it. I but guess. exactly, because I even if I'm not in my best self and. I just kind of like, you know, I know I'm pretty without makeup and yeah. my natural hair and my natural state. I know that. Right. However, I probably don't feel my highest self, though, mm. because it is what it is. You know, the enhancement makes it, yeah. you know, 10 times better. Like, you know, when I throw these curls on, when I got a little <laughs> lash on, a little gloss and, you know, yeah. a little beat, like I'm top tier. So it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now, like, it's a difference. So it's like, yeah, you could tell me sometimes. It's like, damn, babe, thank you. But when I'm not feeling in that best space, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like, you know, the extra support, like, babe, come on, go, go get dressed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I, I know you're not feeling, 
you know, you, you know, go get dressed. Let's 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 go do something. Even if it's not nothing major, just get dressed and we'll go take a walk. Like, yeah. you know, get some ice cream, but get pretty, get your ice cream. We take little cute selfies with your ice cream. Your lashes is popping. Come on. So what about you this? Is it, this is for everybody. What about the times that, you know, like when we're on our low, lower ends of our creative moments, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it, it don't have nothing to do with nobody getting pretty. It don't have to right. do with yeah. no, no dating yeah. in those moments. But your, your, your partner might not be in a low, right? Like yeah. you might be low. Or I might be low. Yeah. But my partner is in a very hot space and like they might in a good space yeah, and, they, right. and, they, and like you're they going through it but i want to have a, sex yeah, or whatever yeah. they want to be intimate and yeah. like you're just not feeling it how do we deal with those moments i feel like mm. uh communication honestly yeah like and respecting that yeah like, respecting that yeah. and communication because it's like um i told you guys previously but even just like i the last month month and a half like i've been going through like yeah. crazy depression crazy yeah. anxiety and like, shout out to you for being able to say that because that's thanks. a big deal yeah like, Cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just want to, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. But, um, <laughs> so it's just like, yeah. I, I'm so weird about yeah. it. But no, like, it's okay. I understand. I'm like so used to being on that yeah. it's like weird talking about yeah. when you're off. Yeah. But um, he just was very understanding about mm. that. Like really realizing like it's not him when I like yeah. lash out or I'm snapping all the time. Yeah. And just like, what do you need? Mm. Like, are you hungry? Do you need something to mm. drink? Like. Is the AC good? Do you want the heat? Like, he's very, like, Fuchs was actually, like, you are top tier. And I know he's, Ooh. like, like <laughs> so I, know, I know he's Give probably, like, she don't yeah. tell me this on the regular, but I do really appreciate <laughs> you. Because it's, like, yeah, no one I've ever been with, like, before, like, really just cared about me like it's yeah. like a new feeling like yeah. just knowing like they genuinely like care about me and i don't know if it's the liquor or what but I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear. Oh, <laughs> but, yeah like so it's just there like, we go I, pulling the onion, the onion back. there we go it. i love it it's just yes. having someone like that understands and yeah. communicates and stuff and it's like when it, especially when you're in a low space yeah that's when it really matters yeah because like, yeah. even like intimacy wise like there's like recently i'm like yeah, it's too hot. It's too cold. Yeah. Any reason, like, don't touch me. Yeah. Like, but it has nothing to do with yeah. him. It's yeah. just like, I really, I ain't going to do it. So, got yeah. It. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just in case. Right. <laughs> but it's like, just having someone who's understanding yeah. of that, basically. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and I, something ahead, I no, took no. from both sides, I, I, you know, the one side has to be communicative of where they are. Yeah. And the other person has to be receptive of right. where they are. And so I like, had to learn that, too, because yeah, I wasn't communicating deal. at first. So yeah. it was causing a lot of arguments. Yeah, so if you're not communicative, like, I'm in this space, yeah. you know, it almost shuts down the other person being able to, re you know, be receptive to that. Like, you're in that space, cool. So then I know not to take it personal so right. that I can aid and assist you yeah. in that right. way. Like, yeah. yeah. And huh. I, that's, that's definitely yeah. been very helpful, um, like. Like, I think that's us yeah. being open and being able to communicate yeah. about that. Because at first yeah. it was just yeah. kind of like I was lashing out. Yeah. And like finally yeah. I was like, let me tell him this actually doesn't have anything to do right. with it. Right, right, it's, right. It's dope that you guys like, and I want to commend you, Shadi, for yeah. even like breaking it down like that. Because I didn't, honestly, I didn't think you were going to break it down like that. Right. I, my question, it was kind of the same yeah. on the opposite end, right? Because I feel like it's dope that you were able to not take it personal. Right, so like, oh, yeah. granted, she has to be able to communicate that, mm -hmm. right? But how were you able to not take it personal in the moments when she wasn't communicating? Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of times, as men, we do take it personal. Like, right. nigga, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, my even, nigga, like, it's not even just as men; it's on both sides. I think sometimes we just take it. Per we take things personal when it comes from our significant other because right. whatever you do sometimes it's heightened, it, it right? is heightened like you know what i'm saying because you're not my friend like right. you know what i'm saying your friend is like damn baby you know do your thing call, call me when you're done like for real like right. you know what i'm saying but when you're mad especially when you live with them or your girl i can't really just be like it's like you mm. know my goddamn nerves yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so it gets a little different in that aspect so you know how do you yeah how was you able to not personal? take it personal um i feel like I'm I'm just gonna be like transparent. Like mm -hmm. it, it's not like it was it was easy, you know. Yeah. Like I'm just this perfect person yeah. that's just like, oh yeah, you know, it just rolls off my yeah. shoulders. He's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've had my weak moments. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I I think like those weak moments like allowed me to sort of realize that like this is bigger than me. Like I need to step outside of myself sometimes, oh, and and just kind of be there for her. You know, because it's like, I feel like, I don't know. It's it's just it's like part of being in a relationship with someone yeah. is being selfless you know what i mean when it's when it's what they require in that moment yeah. you know what i mean 
and just being at least that person that they can rely on, yeah, you know, when they right. need that support. But we yeah. talk about being there for them, right? And yeah. like you talk about being intentional, we talk about all of these things. But how do you act? How do you react in those moments when you right. feel like your love I, I, is not I'm being, conscious. But how do you how do you react in those moments when you when you feel like your intention, your right. love, the you being there for her is right. not being reciprocated on the other end. You, you just you just have to internalize the idea that it's not about you. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. good. You right. know, and once you realize But you ain't giving that, me no like I need mathematics. Like how do you You know what I'm saying? Like cuz that sounds good but how I'm being honest now. Yeah. Cuz I'm asking mm-hmm. myself. Right. How in that moment if I gave you this intentionally? I right. gave you my love. I was being right. there for you and you're still not reciprocating my love. Yeah. How do I literally how like, what moment. is the process yeah, yeah. tell me like, the process step let me by know. step how do you actually mm-hmm. yes yeah. yeah um i feel like there's there's no there's I no formula really. yeah no yeah. there's no seriously though but there's there's no formula you yeah. know what i mean you're gonna be mad yeah, yeah. you're gonna wish that you know what i mean the, the re- saw, things were differently yeah. you're gonna wish yeah. that she saw things from your perspective yeah. Yeah. but you have to realize that that's besides the point you yeah. know what i mean and and i think like in that moment she may not realize what you're sacrificing, you mm-hmm. know, but I think later she'll appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And and I think like with that appreciation later, yeah. there's growth from there. Yeah. And then it's yeah. better the next time. And yeah. I you know and, and I think the appreciation and I, really I, I, nicely. Yeah. yeah. And I also I also think too though, like I, I think like when it comes to terms of you saying sometimes you gotta step out yourself, because I think a lot of that has to do with just understanding that you're always not in that space either. It, like yeah. sometimes right. that is that it transfers. It's so it's around. not just one person. Right. It's, you, it, there's times you're in that situation as well right. where you're doing the same thing and I'm giving you all the love and you're not reciprocated of it, but you are so in yourself right now that you can't see. Sometimes what you need from me right now, you don't give me sometimes. Right. So as long as we are stepping outside ourselves to understand that, like, you know, this is a a ping pong. This right. is a back and forth. So we have to continuously grow and understand that, okay, you may need this right now, but I'm going to need that later. Right. You know what I'm saying? At a point, I'm going to need it. You know what I mean? So let me understand that when i need it and i'm not so loving at times like you know what i'm saying right. yeah. that like, i need to be able to do the same thing because right. i'm not always love you know i think it's, it comes with accountability like we're always not lovable everybody yeah. like male or female everybody's right. not always lovable in this yeah. time there's sometimes you're just not easy to love and like i think once yeah. we all hold ourselves accountable to that like you know i'm not always the best to love like right. you know right. what i'm saying same. it's not such a <laughs> situation where it's like why am i doing this and shit? it's because baby I'm not always easy to love. You ain't always easy to love. Yeah. And if and we are flipping yeah. spots, then sometimes it'd be like and that. And to add to that, um, to what everybody Foon said, show. I believe, to what Foon Show said and what Sade said, I believe it's a matter of understanding that I've seen you at your best and there's probably a factor into why you're feeling this way. Right. Because I know mm-hmm. what it looks like when you are and everything is aligned mm-hmm. and you're walking in that place. And because I've seen that and mm-hmm. I know that exists within you, there's clearly something. So yeah. and, and it may not be me, right. but there's something that is egging you yeah. on and yeah. that person though. So that that mm-hmm. can create a space of patience as well. Mm-hmm. Because right. I know that you're capable of doing it mm-hmm. because I've seen it. Right. And you've done that effort and you put out that effort before. But there there are factors that may not be within my control. Mm-hmm. And if I know for a fact that it's not my control, then I can't internalize it because yeah, all yeah. I can do is be there for you for yeah. that moment. Right. Yeah. And, and with that said, like into your point about like your question of like what is the actual strategy? Yeah. Like what do you actually yeah. apply to make that happen? It's like space right mm. in that moment it may not be a good time to have a conversation yeah, about it's not why you're be productive. feeling yeah. it's not gonna be productive it's not gonna be productive because yeah. she's not gonna like she's not yeah. gonna receive and we, it yeah we talked about that because it's like when you're angry mm-hmm. and you guys are arguing of course you're able to communicate yeah. but you're not communicating yeah. the proper way yes. so like you're saying whatever you're yeah. saying this and that and like so we kind of started like mondays are our days it's kind of like changing days. yeah but like Let's communicate intentionally right. and talk on about Mondays. like yeah. don't communicate when we're angry because exactly. nobody's gonna hear anything. Yeah. Right. But communicate when you guys are good and yep. it's just like, hey, I love you. Like I want to hear you now. But right. yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, I want to hear you right now. Like, but in the mm. moment, like I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just go away yeah. for a yeah. little bit, yeah. you yeah. know. And then like yeah. later revisit. Like, okay, so why do you actually feel this yeah. way? Yeah, like mm. you know what I mean. I know maybe something I did mm. triggered it, but it's not necessarily me. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. and like, so what's actually going on with you? Right, you know, right, and then right. then it's helpful, right? And I right. think that's dope. I think I think we can like kind of like wind it down to it being simple as not even expecting um, reciprocation. Like, mm-hmm. don't even expect it from it, right? Because yeah. doing again, it because you care about it's just not even about yeah. you at this moment, right? right? So yeah. like, we don't even have to. You, I don't even do it out of love. Exactly. Yeah, do it out of love. I got a question yeah. for you guys because you touched on this earlier, yeah. right? I think the lady touched on this earlier, mm-hmm. and y'all were talking about you know 
when it comes to dating, right? You mm-hmm. might be on, we live in a social media yeah. day, right? And it's like, you see people yeah. dating, like, I want that, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Do you feel like that, matter of fact, this is a question mm-hmm. for you. Do you mm-hmm. feel like sometimes you're pressured by seeing those mm-hmm. things even as far as people being engaged, mm-hmm. right? Like, you might see somebody mm-hmm. get engaged mm-hmm. and it's like, I want to mm-hmm. get engaged. Like, mm-hmm. do you feel pressure from that? So what I will say, it's not that I feel pressured, but, you know, sometimes, like, it depends what it is because, you know, sometimes I think it is a question is, um, am I not there yet and or am I settling? You know what I'm saying? I think sometimes mm-hmm. it can be a fair question because sometimes, you know, and, and this is just speaking for all relationships, not just my own, but sometimes you mm-hmm. may be not getting what you deserve sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it might be a moment. It might be a you know, a season, but mm-hmm. you know, and it's like, okay, am I to be patient here or am I settling here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a good question to ask yourself sometimes because sometimes you might see things and it's like, okay, everybody isn't in the same space or the same realm. So I can't yeah. really compare it to what's going on there. Cause I don't right. know what priorities and responsibilities, what type of money they get. And so I'm never pocket right. watching. However, there's some things that you can kind of look at and say, okay, am I, Am I not getting this because it's not my time or am I not getting this because I'm not in the right situation? Mm. Yeah. And I think it's a fair question to ask yourself. And mm-hmm. I think if you're a logical person, you can understand like, ah, it's not my time or no, nah, I'm really just settling. And maybe it's time right. to transition. You know what I yeah. mean? So, and right. I think it's a yeah, fair question for any yeah. body to ask yourself sometimes, like really ask yourself, if am I comparing to this situation where I feel like I'm just not getting? Because, you know, I do think sometimes people do have unrealistic expectations, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like at the same time, but it is also okay to say am i settling let me just kind of look you know at this situation or am i just it's just not my time for that right yeah. now you know what i'm saying so can i say like nah multiple of my friends have gotten engaged and i am so for it and i love it and i never look at it in a way like damn like why i'm not getting engaged because i know my time is my time for when that is and you know yeah. and like just to be honest you know uh, i was with my sisters <laughs> and you know we were talking about marriage and i like i was really big on it like bro i I'll take my time. I'm not in no rush because I know right. whatever season it is for me, that's my season. And yeah. I'm with the growth and I'm in the, with the grace of the relationship. So I'm not really rushing Jay to propose right. or whatever because I know that when it's our time, that's our time. You yeah. know what I'm However, I'm still in that, still can be completely happy for those that are engaged right. and in their season because I don't know what work they had to put in to get there. Tom you know on, what I'm saying? Tom yeah. on. Hold up. Yeah. Because this shit is getting too much kumbaya is for me. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Toxic. <laughs> no, 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 back. Toxic. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not even being toxic. I just, I'm just the real. Yeah. And you guys touched on it. Yeah. You said like in a in in the world of social media, like yeah. you might want to go on dates because you see somebody else going on dates. And I feel like that's normal. You might mm-hmm. want to get, get engaged because you see your friends getting engaged and yeah. that's normal. Mm-hmm. I, I'm curious to know how do you deal with that and, and how does that inf- inf- impact mm-hmm. on you? Because I feel like, you yeah. know, like, I feel like it's normal. You might see your friends going on mm-hmm. dates like, uh, excuse me, like, yeah. you forgot about me? Right. I feel like, you know, it's not always yeah. about the understanding because yeah. we're not going to be understanding 100% of the Well, time. I could yeah. be honest for myself. I've never seen somebody on a date and like, not, damn, I want to go on a date. Like, you seen, I know, no, no, Alex sat me. in this chair right there no, yeah. and he said, yeah, because, and you was like, yeah, Jay. And I'm like, no, whoa, they been together for a year. Okay, first of all, I was joking. Oh, Second, now we joking. <laughs> all right. Now was a jokey joke. Now we're kidding. Let me very go yes. to my camera. I'm also a very much of a realist and I also walk to the beat of my own drum. So therefore, okay, I want to go, line. excuse me, I want to yeah. go on dates because I feel like I deserve dates. It's not because I seen it. Like, yeah. I just want to make that very clear. So like, I don't need to see. Nothing else that need... it kind of like encourage you. No, it might you... inspired me. And or I think there's a difference. Thank you. I think yeah. there's a difference from, uh, you know, in Caribbean culture, we call it a red eye. Like seeing something and like, damn, I got, it. I want it like that. Like gotcha. I need that. Like I never do that. Yeah. However, there's sometimes like I might get inspired. Like, damn, they want on uh this date here and like you know I love aesthetically pleasing shit. So I'm yeah. like, damn, that's fire. I would do that. Like right, you know what I'm saying. Right, and I was right, like, right. let me try to figure out how I could do it. That's yeah. inspiration. Now I don't. I think inspiration and envy are two different things like yeah. damn like why i'm not doing that and why i'm not like i think that's two different things and yeah. I, I think that's okay if you know what side of the fence you fall on so i don't think i'm ever on the envy side but i do get inspired by other things yeah. i see when it comes to date life like damn like niggas is getting creative out here right. like you know it's, instagram shows the creativity behind uh, behind what a lot of people do that i might have never even thought of but it's not yeah. like oh, why I didn't get that? Why I didn't right, do right, that? Or why, right. yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? It's more so, damn, they thought of that. That's fire as fuck. Like, yeah. let me put that on my bucket list to do later. And also, that's you, more so like, it, it reminds yeah. you, at least for me personally, I feel like sometimes it does 
remind me just like yeah. well why aren't why isn't my mm-hmm. man doing mm-hmm. this like um does he have two heads he doesn't have two heads he's a normal person He's not only so mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you should be able to do it as well yeah and yeah. so and like he does do a good job but like sometimes like we do have the times where like i don't feel like i'm being dated or pursued mm-hmm. and i'm just like my homegirl just did this she just did that and stuff and it's like i'm not envious mm-hmm. of her like yeah. i'm happy for her like but, but, just, like, you just but want that for yourself. Yeah, yeah but i'm like yeah yeah i want it for myself yeah. like why can't so we do that this, too though. and this is like this is what i was saying mm-hmm. earlier right when you see those things right do you mm-hmm. think that instead of being let's say not envious of the situation mm-hmm. right but instead of like my man has two hands why not you introduce that? Is is, is something wrong with that? Mm-hmm. So instead of expecting it from us, and the thing mm-hmm. is, there's different mm-hmm. levels to unpack, especially with me because I've been in pretty bad relationships prior to this, mm. and so like I'm a huge giver, and mm. so like sometimes I give so 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 much, right. and, and I don't get it back. Right. That like now it's like you know what you I don't want to look dumb it. again. Like yeah. so I want to make sure like you know like to yeah. do it for me because like. You feel like you give yeah. enough areas where you deserve I'm not, it back. Like, the thing is, I talk my shit online. I'll yeah. say stuff. I'm a little more conservative now online, but yeah. like I used to talk big shit online, <laughs> and then his mom really started following me, and that was weird. <laughs> and so, like, but we gonna get it back. I when give it's okay. what <laughs> I'm asking for. Exactly. So it's not like I'm asking, asking for, for something, something I don't giving. give because right. I will. Like I buy, I buy him designer. I take him out on dates too. I do like everything exactly. like that he's doing she as well. Put that out there. So, I buy him designer. Y'all gonna know that. Y'all gonna so, get all this Louis. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, he ain't just buying me this bag because I ain't do. Because baby, I do it right. For right. And it's like I can I afford the bag too. But it's, it's like period. I want that intention. You, I you want, want to know that I'm still the person you're with, with yeah. wants you to know that you're important. Yeah, and I think that's where it falls down. Yeah. So something that Shade touched on. I mean. She mm-hmm. just said about like red eye in the Jamaican Jamaican culture, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, kind of segueing about culture and relationships. You both mm-hmm. are Nigerian, correct? You both yeah. are Nigerian. Yeah. How do you feel like culture has played a role within your relationship? Mm-hmm. Like coming from the same background and having right. that as opposed to other relationships. Do you feel like that plays a, a, a key role in kind mm-hmm. of quote unquote being equally yoked? I think it's helped because mm-hmm like even small things like nigerian culture is very interesting and so like for example he's weddings your... be lit hey, yo. <laughs> okay <laughs> their weddings y'all be, be getting lit. ripped off of the wedding right like yo <laughs> you pay for the wedding at the wedding <laughs> <laughs> that's lit literally <laughs> so he's yoruba i'm isoko so we're from two different tribes and yeah. like some people are like still archaic and they're like don't marry from separate tribes but like mm. family wow. even in the nigerian even culture, in, culture. yeah, yeah. Culture. Yeah. Yeah. Within the culture. Yeah. yeah. Not our family, obviously. Yeah, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. our right, family's right, right. not. But it but, happens. Yeah. But it's yeah. like there are different things in our culture. Like, so for example, like in the Yoruba culture, like out as, as a sign of respect, you kind of kneel a little bit mm. when you greet elders. Mm. And so like that type of shit, like if he was dating an American girl, like they'd probably they would be think like, 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 wait, what? Why? Yeah. What? Like, no. And, and like, just, like even something as simple as like the, the prayer, way yeah like, the way like nigerian people pray you yeah. know what i mean and like if, if you're not nowhere. used to it it'll, it'll like catch you off guard and the calls yeah. and the call and responses mm-hmm. as well like because even like for example i think um once we started dating i think i don't know how fast it was but it was pretty early and his parents were like let's have bible study yeah study and like so the bible study went nice it's actually mm-hmm. it was really nice at his house because my bible study at my parents house that's just like two three hours at yeah. his house it was like it was brief. maybe like 15 20 minutes yeah. or yeah. something like that like we pray do praise and worship we pray like and it's yeah. kind of like over like that but um at the end it was like you got to say the grace and so like at that point i was like oh it's my time to shine like, this is my <laughs> and i was like may the grace of the lord jesus christ <laughs> like, and it's like yeah. i knew his parents were like and brownie point right <laughs> so it's like the little things like it helps a lot yeah. too yeah. um but yeah, I think that's a major key, a, a part of your relationship, though. Like because y'all sh- share the same culture, I think it definitely, nice. yeah, it definitely it's makes nice. things easier. Like, 
because prior to this, like, I've dated everyone. Like, I don't Same. discriminate. I feel yeah. like love is love. Mm -hmm. And but it was just like it was nice just because we could connect on those certain yeah. aspects yeah. with right each there. other. Nah, I let's dated stop. everyone. Let's stop right there. <laughs> I, I, I was skipping. It. I, See, I wasn't even getting toxic. I, I dated all types of people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, I, that's dope though. I die. That's, I that's, with it. that's dope that you can yeah, say that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I only dated Shade. But I mean, you, you got to be your whole life. Worse than yeah, my whole life. I don't even know who who, who somebody else is. Everyone. Who was that? I love I thought, it here. I thought she was the only person. But anyway, I love it here. Yeah, right? Yo, this guy I was, is yeah, wild. To get no, I was, no. <laughs> wild. He is I was, wild. I you didn't have a girlfriend in kindergarten. Nothing. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Yeah, right. I thought I was born smart. Like, like, it was like Sade. I, I, like, like, he was, he was baptized anybody. in the water. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I was baptized. All right. Hey, yo. Uh, Lord forgive us. That's it. You know what I mean? Born again. Born, nah, nah, nah. born again. But nah, so, so, so honestly, right? Speaking of that, because you said, you said something that was, that was profound. <laughs> love is love. Yeah. Right? That's cool for you. That's cool for you. Because I say, because I feel like me and Sade. I stand by it, though. Yeah. Okay. No, it's yeah. I think, man, Shadek can touch on this because I feel like we're on the opposite end, right? Right. For me, I would never date anyone outside of my culture. And I'm not like African or, well, I'm African. I'm African. I'm African you know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yeah. Right, period. But, but, so, so but nah, that was ignorant. But nah, yeah. I would never date someone other than a black woman. Mm -hmm. And I understand that love is love, right? Yeah. And, and, mm -hmm. and this is just is what it is. They can cancel me, say what the fuck they want. I just would never date outside of my culture being black because yeah. I understand what we had to go through right yeah. i understand what my i seen i saw my moms go through the struggles yeah. and i would mm -hmm. never want to mm -hmm. uplift anyone else mm -hmm. other than a black well somebody that i'm with like yeah. i will uplift everybody right? yeah, like, yeah outside of my relationship yeah. no, I got, you know, yeah, but like yeah, when yeah, i say yeah. uplift in my relationship i would yeah. want to i want to raise black children yeah. I want, I want to yeah. raise a black king, a black queen. I want yeah. to date a black queen because right. I understand exactly what she went through. Right? I want to go through it with you. I want to understand your problems. Mm -hmm. I want to get deeper into mm -hmm. that. And I feel like it's dope that you guys touched on that. You saying love is yeah. love. Because I feel like we are on the opposite end because Sade is um, yeah, and, Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said that she, you wouldn't. You so know. it's crazy. Well, it's two things just to touch on your point. So, you know, I'm Jamaican and Trinidadian. So okay. my mom's Jamaican, my dad's Trinidadian, both born, raised, gotcha. everything. Right. Okay. So spent Christmas is here, some are there, like oh, nice. on both sides. Um, and um, the one thing to touch on uh, Jay's point is so crazy because, um, you know, my stepmom on my dad's side, she was a Venezuelan Trinidadian. But, you know, when you mm. go to certain cultures, they're so diverse that you can meet mm -hmm. white Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can meet Chinese Trinidadians. Right. Like, that's how diverse it is. So, you know, I wasn't directly taught not to date it, but they just had to be Trinidadian descent, but they could mm. be whatever shade, whatever, right, whatever. Right, right. However, growing up, because, you know, I grew up with my uncles and my situation, I knew damn well I was never dating a fucking Jamaican or a Trinidadian. I, that was what I knew <laughs> off the top. I was like, absolutely not. My mom is yeah. like, uh-uh, you know what I'm saying? You need to, I'm right. like, uh, uh, you motherfuckers are crazy. Yeah. Look what you created. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really stern on that, but it was more so yeah. deeply because of, you know, um, I'm, you know, I don't know the Nigerian culture to a degree, but I do yeah. have friends that are African right. and, you know, I, I know certain things. However, I just know in Trinidadian Jamaican descent, yeah. you know, the men typically are a little more aggressive. Yeah. Um, it's the same a thing A little with more controlling. Yeah, same thing. And, um, you know, and just seeing that, like, even, like, love my dad to death. He, love my dad to death. He is fucking nuts. Yeah. Like, he is nuts. And I'd be yeah. like, bro, like, ain't no way I last, you know, as an Americanized child yeah, to a degree, yeah, yeah. to a degree, because I'm mm -hmm. very cultured. Right. But to a degree, I still grew up, you know. Still here. Still here, yeah. you know, for the most part. Yeah. So whether I was living there for a little time, came back, I was, right. I grew up in America for the most part. So even certain things as an adult, I won't even take from my heritage because I'm like, y'all know oh, y'all yeah. dead ass wrong. And yeah. I, we're in a different society. So yeah. I can't take everything you guys did and raise your kids with. That's just not how I'm raising my child. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? But because, like, you know, men in that culture, they're very stuck in their ways. And they were. So for me, I was like, mm, I'll pass. And yeah. it's not necessarily that I wanted to date Americans because, you know, growing up, my mom hated American kids. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, she was like. <laughs> Yo, I used to get, they couldn't come over my house. Yeah. Like, no, dead ass. Like, I'll call my mom right now. They couldn't come over. Nothing. My yeah. mom hated American kids just for the way she they act. Me, the, the, they were rude, yeah. entitled. Like, you know, they'd come in mocking Patois. She 
flip shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she 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 really hated because it. Because also when we were younger, that shit wasn't cool. Yeah, like, it wasn't. Oh, so hell no. It was like, now and, and they all thought of a sudden it's cool. Wakanda forever. Right. Okay. But like, okay. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. I love right. the progressiveness. Mm -hmm. But like, it's just, it just, it wasn't like that growing up. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it now wasn't. that y'all here, right? Do you right. think that it's, it's good to keep it in the culture almost? Well, so here's the thing. And yeah. Shada, you brought up a very like good point. Mm -hmm. I had sworn not to date Nigerian men ever again <laughs> prior to yeah. me and Funcho re-meeting yeah. because it was the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. it's like Nigerian, the stereotypical Nigerian man can be very... You say uh, a lot. Huh? A lot. They're yeah, a lot. A lot. Like, <laughs> a very, like, very rigid, like, mm -hmm. very, like, controlling, mm -hmm. dominant, like, you're a woman. How dare you? Who yeah. do you think you are? Yeah. You're talking to me. Like, just yeah. annoying. Yeah. He's like, a king. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah, ah, hold on. Ah. That's <laughs> the type of king I want. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm joking. Okay. I want. Yeah. I want. Yeah. I want. Yeah. I want. I want. I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding, y'all. See, he like, that ain't my girl. I don't give a fuck about your concern. Sorry. But like no, no I ain't say all that. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. No, I'm about to go. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. But like they can be very like just archaic in the yeah. mindset. Mm -hmm. Like it's like not not all of them mm -hmm. frown on domestic violence or like know your place yeah. like just Damn. like. Hey, can I, can yeah. I chime in right there? It's mm -hmm. so crazy because I hear a lot, you know, and just you know being a Caribbean descent, like. I hear a lot like, you know, Americans would be like, you know, black culture, like we went through all this trauma and whatever. And I'd be like, trauma, you ain't see a third world country. <laughs> so when we talk about trauma, and the ways they take on. In Nigeria, they take away the heightened. baby from the mother. Yes. Automatically, the father will get the child unless you have a rich family yeah. as a woman. Yeah. That's not like, yeah. that baby's well, not that's crazy you. because like, yeah. I probably should be Nigerian because I've said this mad times. Like, this, I've said yo, this, this mad times. Like, if I have a child, then we ever Why, yo? No, he always be like, I yeah. say that all he the time. Like, yeah. I, like, I say that all the time. Like, I mean that shit. Like, he, but you until he gets the, the other side of Nigerian nah, man. Take your I want my child. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Am I wrong for that? Like, no, no, no. And that's, I, I do want to say that too. Like, you do have the other side of Nigerian men. A lot of the Nigerian men are progressive. And then also, like, I knew if I did end up in the back of the head, like I wanted an Americanized Nigerian man mm. because they kind of got the best yeah, of both worlds. Yeah, the best yeah. of both worlds. Like you understand the culture and like we can vibe on stuff. Yeah. But then also like you're not, you don't, yeah. yeah. You it's don't not, take on yeah. all of the, because you know, at the end of the day, black culture, Nigerian culture, yeah. Jamaican culture, there is some negatives that came with what we yeah. were taught and what we learned in those right. prior generations. That needed to be you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can see where you, say like um americanized nigerian yeah. you kind of get the aspect where you can kind of decide what you want to allow in your household yeah. and you understand yep. the dynamic yep. so y'all don't yeah. feel like me because i feel like um as like when we talk cultures right now i feel like cultures can be so many different ways right yeah. like you can yeah you could be in the same culture in a different race right yeah. i feel like for me when i think of culture yeah. i almost think of african-american culture mm. and like not even culture i think of just honestly african-american yeah. Mm. yeah and i feel like for me this is a bold statement, but yeah. it's just real for me. I wouldn't mm. want to date outside of that period. Right. Because yeah. you crazy. feel like you probably wouldn't be able to fully yeah. be yourself. It's, it's not it's, even being myself. Honestly, right? I think, you know, yeah. and I think this comes with just being a man yeah. of it. I think we spoke on this a, a while ago about just, I know, for me, I can't speak for all mm -hmm. men. Mm -hmm. We have this like superhero instinct, right? Like we want to take care of, of something, right? And it's Heroes. like, I, hero, right? Mm -hmm. Instinct. And it's like me. I want to be, if I'm going to be a hero for somebody, mm. I want it to be for an African-American woman, period. I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? No, Even if not, I want it to be for a black yeah. woman, period. That's it's just so how I look no, at no, it. No, no, and I, I yeah. understand that. It's just so crazy because, like, you know, uh, I was really close to my stepmother who was a Venezuelan Trinidadian, and, you know, she had family of all, like, they were so, like, even me, like, I'm like a mutt. Like, because my grandmother is German. Oh, like, wow. she's a German Jamaican. Yeah. So my mom's a German Jamaican. Right. Like, so her mom's completely German, but she's a German Jamaican. Her dad's fully Jamaican. Mm. So, like, you know, I have then, like, it's so weird because then my sisters are Chinese Jamaican. So oh, they wow. have my mom, German Jamaican. Then their dad is a Chinese Jamaican. Like, it's just oh, wow. so, it, like, we're like mutts to degree. My daughters yeah. have Haitian. Like, it's, yeah. we're like all over the place. So it's so crazy because, you know, you know, when you know, what a third world country really looks like, mm -hmm. you know, from the insides and the outs, it's almost like no matter what ethnicity you are, 
you're experiencing the same triumphs. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even that's there. Deep. So I that's think dope. America is the only place that really separates only it. separates okay. it so much. Wow. So much. Yes. Wow. And it's that way. But there's a but huge Chinese, it's a, it's, Indian oh my God. population yeah. in Bro, Nigeria. Like, and it's yeah. like, it's the same. Y'all are Nigerian. You go, yeah. yeah, you're Nigerian. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're Nigerian. Like, if you go to Trinidad, Trinidad is one of the most diverse third world countries I've ever seen in my life. Like, more than Jamaica, any place. And like, you go there and you have like, you know, Chinatown, but Chinatown, not Chinese people. Chinatown is Chinese Trinidadians. Yeah. Then you'll go across as Indian Trinidadians. They're in Indian, Indian, but they're Trinidadian. Yeah. You can't tell that even on this side, it's the white Trinidadians. You can't go to either side. I'm like, you're not Trinidadian. They're right. like, I want to ask. Like, like, like shut your right. right. You know, you know, you're like, God, you're like so, who are you talking to? Like, Alex, right. Alex, Alex yeah. is Haitian as well. And, I, yeah. and he has some uh, thoughts on this earlier when we were talking in a meeting. Yeah. And you were just, because your, your parents are, are both Haitian. Mm -hmm. And you were, what, what were you saying about your experience just growing up Haitian and, and with your parents? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, and your dating style now. Well, I've actually never dated a Haitian woman, you know, which is kind of mm -hmm. interesting. But like, I think the biggest thing is knowing about having a sense of cultural identity, yeah. but knowing what to pick and choose. You know? yeah. And I think it was having the discernment to know what I like about the culture and what I will yeah. embrace. Right. But then what, like you all said I about yeah. what is toxic, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but then it was really for me trying to grasp, because again, I've never dated a Haitian yeah. woman, yeah. the cultural clash, you know, sometimes yeah. you do see it within different relationships yeah. and trying to motivate within that space, you know, yeah. but like for me, it was just a matter of respect. Mm -hmm. right. So long as we could okay, respect mm -hmm. our differences yeah. and understand that we're different, that, that the differences That's... is what really unites us, yeah. you know what right. I mean? Because yeah. we're all different. We all have yeah. come from mm -hmm. different pages of life. Mm -hmm. As long as we can identify with that, I think yeah. that's what happens. But yeah. too often we try to control the situation. Yeah. And if you don't, and it, it's patience. You know, mm -hmm. I had to learn patience along yeah. that time yeah. to realize that it might take time. I've been doing this my whole life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And this person knows me for one year. So they may yeah. not be able to understand 25 years of what I, it took me to really grasp right. what to hold. Because like yeah. you said, at one point in our lives, it wasn't cool to be Haitian. We were called, uh, I right, mean, I wasn't, right, right, to yeah, this right. day I could walk outside. I'm Yerba, bro. Yeah. They don't even know. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I got to say, I'm Haitian. Well, we all African, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. like really coming to understand that it took a long time for me to get myself within my identity. Right. Yeah. But now uh, understanding that with you, it may take a little bit longer. It's not mm -hmm. going to take a year. It's not going to yeah. take two years. Yeah. But something that I uh, kind of, because we talked about engagement, I wanted to ask you all, because uh, you're engaged, you know, congratulations. Yeah. I see that big rock on your finger. How long, how long were you all uh, dating? If you don't mind me asking, uh, it was a year before we got engaged. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. feel knew. like? <laughs> <laughs> do you he feel like culture had an impact in that? Like, about, the because something he that they knew. say about he Haitian. Ain't nobody pressuring you. Something that they say Niggas about Haitian people. men. I don't know. Is that Haitian men are always I'm ready to marry you. you? Like within two months, a Haitian man is like, all right, I'm ready to wife you. Like, I think. Yeah. Time out. Wait, wait. Before we go there, hold that. Hold that thought. Remember what you was gonna say. Say that again? No, because niggas always be no, like... No, 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 niggas always, <laughs> no. I ain't saying all that. I'm going to no, 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 no. no, tell you what I was saying because niggas always like pressure. And it's like, who the fuck said I wanted to marry you? So end it right now. Huh? End it right now. No, I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying, Ro? No, 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 don't, don't whisper. They trying to whisper and get it right. So say this. No, I have some Don't say it for us. They pregame. They, 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 they practice and like, so you're not going to say that. Like, don't whisper. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> don't say this. Don't say this. Same team. Not that part. Shout out to the same team. But you said, I'd be like, King yeah, yeah. I remember when we started. Yeah. But now I'm sorry, what you were saying? Mm -hmm. No, so I actually don't remember. Um, <laughs> what were we saying? About the um, hey, toast to that. Can we toast to that? Toast to that. 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 Culture played a role in right. you. Okay, well, yeah. I guess I can ask you the question because you mm -hmm. probably question. Do you do you feel like culture played a role in you? I would like to have a that, voice. You know, I, and I, no, you, I'm just kidding. Go. No, I feel like um. I put a mic. My bad. Oh, oh shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like honestly, like with like anything, right? And this is gonna sound like a cop out, but it's true, right? Like with anything that we do in life, like it is inspired by who we are, where we come from, mm -hmm. yeah. our background, yeah. you know? So I, I cannot like definitively say that culture did not play a role because mm -hmm. I am who I am because right. of my culture. Yeah. And it's like internalized. It's not even something I have to think about. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, 
I feel like yes, culture probably did play a role in why I made my decision to, mm-hmm. you know, to marry when mm-hmm. I did. You know what but I mean? But I also feel like timing did too because yeah, exactly. I have dated Nigerian men, mm-hmm. and like the talking phase lasted like three years. Like, was I dumb? <laughs> yes. Right. Like, I was also in we college. Were, we were both yeah. ready to so, get married. You know? Yeah. yeah. But I think like because we met five years ago yeah. actually, mm-hmm. but five years ago we met on I was interviewing the artist that he was working with, yeah. mm-hmm. so I came to the set, interviewed the artist me and him exchanged instagrams because he was like fake playing the cello he plays the guitar in real life but he was fake playing the cello until we actually started dating i always thought he played the cello too (laughs) until he told me he was like i don't play the cello so i was like okay cool vibes like exchange instagrams and everything it's always the vibe that's how me and shade got that's how me and shade got together too because it was vibes vibes. 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 we stuck it's up now it's me it was my it was me my energy vibes yeah excuse me I back no, Jay thank you very much <laughs> I back Jay he's showing up but I back him she got the game yeah no, like, okay. we, at that point we just exchanged Instagrams kept in touch yeah. like maybe yeah. an occasional like every couple of yeah. years and stuff but then like damn y'all wasn't real far. every couple of years a co- a- Damn. We, we weren't in the same circles. Right. Okay. Like, so, I mean, so, we would yeah, run okay. into each other from time yeah. to time. Okay. You know? okay. And then it wasn't until, um, I guess now it's almost two years, two years ago, now, yeah. that his agent was my friend and she always was inviting me out. And at that time, my life is hectic. So I've <laughs> been to whatever, but I was going through it. Mm-hmm. And um, finally, I was like, oh, she's not going to invite me to anything if I say no <laughs> one more time. So right. I was like, all right, let me show up. Right. And so I, that's when I showed up. And like, that's how we met. But it's like, I think like, just kind of like to bring it back to the topic, like, I, I think it's just timing. Yeah. Like, because you could date someone forever yeah. and it's pointless yeah. versus then you could date someone and it's within purposeful. a year you're right. engaged. Mm-hmm. Like, so let me ask you this. Could you say, like, you said something um, profound to me and you was like, you know, I am who I am because, like, everything with my culture and everything, I feel like it is Americanized where, like, we put this time limit on everything, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I know exactly what I want to do when I want to do it. I ain't going to mm-hmm. say it right now because then... Tell me. You know what I'm saying? No. The ruins kind of ruins it, right? Right. But <laughs> I don't see it, though. But for you, like, again, like, you said you think your culture did play a part in when you popped that question. I feel mm-hmm. like in, in America, I only I can only speak for American, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Because I'm mm-hmm. that's what I, I'm American, right, right, right. right? I feel like for us, it's like, all right, it got to be three years i gotta have mm-hmm. this yeah. amount of time i gotta yeah. like you feel me like I, I wanted to talk yeah. on that and i don't know i don't know how i really yeah. break it down but i'm curious to know like what part of your culture made you so ready because right. part of my culture is like okay i'm ready but all right we need to have gone through something right we had yeah. to we had to have gone through something first to before i can propose right. because i need to know this is real mm. Mm. i feel like also having our families involved right and like yeah. because I can also say in those past relationships, maybe my family, like, I'm not, you're not everybody's going to introduce to my parents. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, um, right, right, no, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not everything's um like like not everybody gets introduced yeah, yeah. to my parents. So and I think like our family was involved in it, and like we really got to know each other. So then mm-hmm. once the family's involved, they're like, okay, oh, where yeah. will it's you be? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, right? Her family loved me, right? Because yeah, why not? You, right, you right. 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 like I'm right. me, right. nigga. I am who I am for Seriously. a reason. Right. <laughs> and obviously, my she family loved her. And shit, like no, it's me. My family loved her, you know. So they like my mom's like. You know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's the one. <laughs> when I went to meet his mom, I was dressed in. I had a nice little cardigan on. Yeah. My, I had a turtleneck on. My hair was slicked That's back. That's so dope. Yes, my yes leg. I was like, please when like she, me. When Shadi met my mom, she was like in sweatpants with tears running down her eye and everything. Like, oh. <laughs> we what? But so because first of all, since you want to fucking bring it up, no. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually what you know, let me know, like, oh, my God, I fuck with him. Yeah. Because, like, we were, like, dating, and, you know, my life is hectic, too, girl. So, like, <laughs> you know, we were talking, and I was crying, and he was like, I'm going to bring you somewhere. And he took me to his mom to pray. Oh, and that's why, uh, like, I was, like, in tears and sweatpants. Oh, that's because beautiful. Because the first time I met his mom, like, it was so she tears. could yeah. pray for me. So it was a dope experience. That's like, really nice. And that's wow. where we really got... Like but this, it's a different like story when she tell it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. You know me, I'm gonna make it. it. She, you know, he tried. <laughs> like she was dripping tears. Like he, like no, right. yeah. he was very helpful. He was just like that's, that's the strongest. So one. He was like that's the strongest yeah. woman I know. He was that's like and sure. just seeing what you're going through. He was like you know the only thing I would want you to meet my mom because she's 
so strong and I know I'm a soldier. Yeah, like and you, you know, know, I, I will that was say dope. it's so funny yeah. because like I don't know, Jay, I don't know you that that well or mm-hmm. anything like that, but it's like watching you guys' mm-hmm. relationship and your dynamic, like I be talking mm-hmm. y'all online. Like I just love it. And it's just like <laughs> I feel like that's where I see the emotional part of Jay. Yeah. So it's yeah. like it's nice to see that mm-hmm. angle of you because mm-hmm. other than that you will never see it. Yeah. Because he's very transactional. It's business. Yeah, business, yeah. Business, yeah. Very, business, very business. business. And yeah. like that's cool because yeah, like yeah. that's how it should be outside. But then it's like I I feel yeah. like I can see it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Question. Yeah. Aww. Do you play do you Ah, play. Do you think that <laughs> play? You drink it too? Yeah, definitely. But um, <laughs> do you think that Lex culture... is getting her fix off of this yeah, episode? She's she like, yeah, she getting hella. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> but, <laughs> right now, I get but Lex in the city. Because the thing is, these drinks Don't are take, sweet. They like right. They're, They're sweet. sweet. Yeah, like, like, yeah, it's juice. Yeah, 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 like, yeah all right. Like, we learned the hard way. Okay. okay. But no, because um, you talked about introducing like your significant other to your parents. Do you feel like culture plays a role in that? Like, how soon do you all feel like that played a role? Because you said that was a deciding factor into popping a question. Mm-hmm. So for me, how did that happen? It, I got you. <laughs> so for me, right? For me, I think it it did play a role, right? Mm. Because like it's it's wild. We talk about men, and we talk. Let's just talk about being Americanized, right? Mm-hmm. Like for us, we see sex at an early, early age, and we 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 start to associate sex with like be, even being transactional. Honestly, right? Like we we associate we don't associate sex with love. Mm-hmm. So mm. it's like if I'm not associating sex with love, you're never going to meet my parents because like whoa, yeah. For Sade and I, you know, it was like, yo, like, we started with the vibes, right? Mm-hmm. So it's funny because I never even, I never was a vibe type of guy. I never was like, energy, energy. Like, that was energy. Yeah. But like, when I met Sade, like, it was definitely. Energy, energy. No, energy. I give her, I give her that. Synergy. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to give her that. I'm going to give her that. So when, when, when she had that moment, that breakdown moment, at that moment, it was like, damn, this is real. And like mm-hmm. you guys said, this was it was like phone show. You like this was outside of me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She had a real situation that was going on. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. my mom's is literally the strongest woman I've ever met. I love that. I feel like that speaks so high. No, so like, so wow. So when I when I met Sade and she's telling me this, and I'm like, damn. But this is why I would never date outside of my right mm-hmm. ethnicity. Period. Yeah. Because my mom, I would want to do it for my my my. Bro, I've seen her go through so much, yeah. right? So it's like when Sade came around, it's like, damn, this is deep. Mm-hmm. I usually got the answer. Right. I don't have an answer to this, mm-hmm. yeah. but I know who got the answer. Mm-hmm. And then like the fact that you you knew within yourself that you you cared enough about needing to get her that answer. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? I, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that yeah. for you probably was like. Damn, this yeah. is real. Like I actually really I love her so much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a I'm a go bring her yeah. to my mom so yeah. she can pray for her. Right. Yeah. You know? I did, it's so crazy. That's I didn't so even cool. know he was bringing me there. Like, yeah. he's like let's, he was like, let's take, let's a, take a ride. ride. Yeah. And we just pull up and I'm like, I don't know where we're going. We go up, he's like, This is my mom. And I was like, you know, because I'm in a vulnerable yeah. state. So yeah. I'm like, I'm in like a whirlwind because I'm like, hold on, what's happening right, right now? Yeah, like, yeah, we got to make it. Let's make it know. Yeah, and then he I goes, already got the box before, so I wasn't trying to play him. <laughs> I already got the box, so I wasn't trying to play him. So, but then I really he comes cares. in yeah. and he you know, Some niggas that do that to try to get up. No, nah, I already got the box. <laughs> no, first of all, don't do that. <laughs> I'm don't that do nigga. that. Like, don't do that. I wasn't playing simp. I already, I'm good And it was crazy because when we went in, he literally introduced me. He was like, you know, my mom's the strongest person. I know I don't have the answers, but I want my mom to pray with you and that was like and it's crazy jay left for a little bit me and his mom just sat and she talked she showed yeah. me like her journal and wow. she went through like and it was just like the most empowering thing like yeah. it was, and that's really like it was it was a really that's really it was a beautiful. really key yeah. like point to jay and i's start because i was like you know any man who's willing like you said to fix a problem right. you know what i'm saying you could vent to niggas all day like some right. niggas you know you got those damn that's crazy ass niggas <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that's wild that's, that's wild, wild. wait wild. wait where's that you crazy. trying to fuck though <laughs> you trying to fuck though yeah, anyway, like, uh... <laughs> you know what i'm saying so 
<laughs> it's so funny. We were watching a show yesterday. And, I was just thinking of that. Though. And the girl, uh, you know, she's having this breakdown to mm -hmm. the nigga, and he like holds her. He tried to kiss like, and he like kiss, he kissed her, and he's like, "So you ready?" Like he is basically Wait, like, that, that and she's like, been, uh, she's like, "Get the fuck out!" Jenny, like Jenny and uh, Jenny, Jenny and George. George. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, so we, we was watching that. that last week. Yeah, I just we watched <laughs> last night. I love yeah. that. We just yeah. started yesterday. Yeah. I it's so up, good, and there's gonna be another season hopefully because the way that it left off is really good. Yo, we started last night and I could not this is why I was exhausted this morning because I stood up until 3 o'clock in the morning watching yeah. it I felt it's like he kept watching it for like two yeah, more hours like, wow, yeah, yeah. I don't even oh my god that, like, I love that's, it that's bad that's why yeah. I, 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 I was just we were just talking about this like I love that I like, show I don't, like yeah. come on I went, you know what I'm saying like I want to watch it with you. That's why yeah, I, I can't believe I, I was going to get on him like later. Like, damn, like my nigga, I fell asleep. That's you should have really turned around. That's betrayal. Now, now you got to wait till I catch up. <laughs> now you got to wait till I catch up to it watch it with you. Uh, <laughs> I, what, like what, what I'll give Raro is though, it, like it, it, when she go ahead and go ahead of me, watch she'll watch it again. So yeah. Yeah. So do you spoil it? Like when you're watching the Netflix show? Like no, hey, when I you watch it again? Oh, I'm actually probably the best person to watch anything with because like, I'll rewatch it with you, and then I'll just be like, "Oh wow, the that's same crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's bro, I'm the same they, way. They like, same thing. I'm like, gonna spoil it for yeah. the best. She be lying like, and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jamie, what happened? Right. Me too. Right, I can't. I can't See, I'm not like <laughs> that. I'm not like that. Drama, drama. See what? See me. I really just like. If I like something, I really just like it. Yeah, so like, I yeah, watch, watch that it shit again. four times. And I'm the opposite. Like. Well, so he's normally the one who already either watched the show or will rewatch it because mm. me, like, I can't rewatch it. Like, yeah, after I, I like watch it, like, it like, I'm good. Like, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, like, yeah. I already watch it. So I'm like, look, I'm gonna go do this, finish the show. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he does a really good job. Like, he'll rewatch it. He'll say, we'll re. Do the but whole to your thing. point, to, to sum it up, that show is is good. Like, no, I'm, so, I was a pro. My nigga, I was up until like five in the morning. No, nah, I didn't finish it. Oh, okay. um, I, now I gotta catch up because yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I watched it so, again with you. It's really it's good. It's crazy mm -hmm. because yesterday I had watched a wild ass movie on Netflix. Um, wild movie. I forgot the name. So I'm just I'm I wasn't tired yet. So I'm like the preview was cool though. It wasn't right. as crazy. But I was Rebecca? like I really put it on at first That's to on just pass time till I like fell asleep. Right. But it came on and I'm like. Oh, this is lit! Yeah. Like I really like this show, and I ended up staying up all night. So no, it was I wasn't ride. expecting it to be as good as it was. It almost gives me—I don't know if you guys watch Euphoria, mm -hmm. but we to me, no, it, it does. gives me it Euphoria does. vibes. It no, I haven't. So, oh my are god! Are you still talking about Guinea and Georgia? Georgia. It okay. reminds Euphoria's me of Euphoria. With, um, the girl, it does. Uh, Zendaya. Yeah, it, it does. We don't. Zendaya. Oh, Zendaya. Was that yeah. I'm Euphoria? Yeah. That, like, that super toxic movie. It's, it's a show, but show. yeah. Oh no, that was uh, Marvin and something. Oh yeah, Marvin, Malcolm and Memory, Malcolm and Memory, Malcolm and Memory, Marvin. I hate him. <laughs> I don't know. Marvin's from <laughs> Who the fuck is Marvin? Marvin. Zendaya was in Malcolm and Marie. Yeah, 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 However, exactly. she, you know, she started her rot. Well, I can't say started, but she had a key role in Euphoria. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think Drake is like also executive producer on that oh, too. So I love Euphoria. For you though, I, I thought it did a really good job, but I actually like Ginny and Georgia no, better. It's not, no, it's good. Like I do, I really do. It's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't think I seen it. So watch uh, Euphoria no, if you did. Right, uh, random question. Yeah, because y'all all live together, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to learn to like put the totally seat down? Like, <laughs> oh, not been done. No, no yeah. Jay, Jay definitely. My mom's old school, boy. Right? He does, she he does, he does. Me, yeah, yeah. My mom's. Does. She but don't you smack know, me. She punches me in my fucking chest. I'm a, I, ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You know what? I I hate niggas because wow. I'm just about to go laugh. Bro, I don't give a fuck how much y'all think y'all take that little tissue, wipe your pee pee. Y'all don't understand that them dried up peace names eventually show okay so i know y'all thought y'all cleaned up everything <laughs> sweetie that's an ass. but a lot, i feel like a lot of niggas like, don't even do that i want the i want the no, toilet Jay, and everything that, like, I, like, I, I'm, I'm like i'm like, like i'm like, gonna say give that because i'm like every nigga don't do that because i'm really i ain't gonna lie jay's a real clean nigga yeah like so i've watched him like you know i'm a weird girlfriend i'm just smoking a jay i'm on the toilet Nah, like i watched jay jay take the tissue <laughs> no, he, he take the tissue, he real clean, wipe it up so it's no little pee residue in his boxers. He'll wipe around a thing. But he doesn't, under, I don't think niggas understand that they actually do splash. So even yeah. if you don't get around, my nigga, 
dry like you gotta look close but it i'm a, look OCD at the whole a little bit right so you gotta look You're close that, 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 you know what i'm saying shout out to my, my girl scott you need, boy need kids. you need, a, you need the blue light you got the little blue light i already know my virgo sister hey, like yeah, she I'm got two boys yeah she got two boys she'd be like bro like boys just don't even get it like no matter you shake you you wipe it doesn't matter it i gets feel like somewhere. niggas don't do that though yeah. i need my roses because i'll be cleaning Maybe the toilet and everything like i wipe the toilet who I get you around the toilet. Like, I be like, around the toilet and like, all that. Like, the toilet don't be messy at all, but yeah. I just think, you know, men only, you know, stop at a certain point. So, <laughs> you know, he don't, wow. he, he won't go get the swifter and get around the toilet because he don't think it go uh, there. But they yeah. be like, bro, I know that was a little less, but swiffer? fuck y'all. Like on the, it seemed uh, like a lot ground. just to pee. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, it's a lot for me. To, it's a <laughs> lot for me to, to clean the, the pee. And it's not my pee. Oh, oh on yeah. the floor, floor. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, especially if you got a big zig. I don't know what small niggas do, but hey, yo, <laughs> that bad. <laughs> that was drama. I'm sorry. We all <laughs> are here for it now. So, so what's your right? favorite? I'm giving him big flowers and he making up his face. So I'm what's your favorite about thing you? about your partner? Like, talk about what, you. What's your favorite thing about your partners? You know, you know. My let's favorite end up thing. on a high note. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, my favorite thing about Raro is I feel like she is more passionate about like. More we ain't talk about this in a meeting, bro. You gotta prep me for the shit like right, this. Right, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's a curveball for a sorry, reason. Sorry. Now, now you <laughs> like, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. No, bro. I what feel is like your favorite thing? no. Seriously, I feel like she's yeah. so passionate about seeing me do well Aww. and be successful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she won't. She will not let me slack. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You know Shout out to that. Oh my <laughs> God. More pressure. <laughs> who <laughs> fucking who? So, question. So let, me, so, let me ask you this question, though. No, no, no. Let me ask you this question, though. Because yeah. yeah. you, yeah. you know what they say, right? <laughs> what, what they same, say? same reason they love you, same reason they hate you. That's so, fact. question. Mm-hmm. How irritating is it? When you're not ready for her to be so passionate about you winning, I know it. Like, no. I just said it. Like he like when it's not like right now, he's it's like, good, right? Like, oh my god, my favorite yeah. part. Like, right? Sometimes he's like, "You're not my mom." Like, just nagging. You're not like, my dad. <laughs> I just nag. Hey, yeah, like, like, when you look back on it, like, yeah, that was kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really sometimes wanted me I to do well, you know. But in the moment, I'm like, you know, yeah, chill. I, I got this. Right. Trust me. Right. I can't be a drill sergeant. Like I feel like because I'm just kind of like you need to do this. Th- I'm very. I'm so like, fucking toxic. I want to be in. <laughs> you. I love bit. the accountability. Yeah. He was being. I he was being it. so I'll try to be good. Positive. Like man, my favorite part is. Oh my god. Right. Here goes yeah. Jay pulling yeah. the toxic out of people. Right, right, right. Long as man, you know you bring toxic out of people. It's like with us. I think also we balance each other out too. But like it's like with him, he's chill. He's like vibes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, we need a schedule. We need to like, do you know what you're going to do in six months? Do you know what you're going to do in three months? Like, how can you even breathe right now when we're not succeeding? And like, so it's like, I'm stressed. That's me, Loki. Yeah. How do you, yeah. I'm like, how are you even Why are you not nah, so, stressed? So that's, so, oh my God. That's Bro, so, 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 wait, 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 so, 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 think, right? Bro, I'm so he's glad so that. So, shall, shall they think I'm upset because and Alex no, <laughs> Alex is my friend. <laughs> so no, no, no. So, so, I, so, so, at least, at least I have somebody. Hold on, hold on. We're working wait. with friends. No, 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 no. no. I, I, this is biased. Listen, no, 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 no. I said that. Listen, I said that. I said that. I said that because at least you won't know I'm capping, right? He can because he will be honest. I love that you said it, right? Because like, if how are you? work like how are you having fun or whatever if if it's not working out whatever you said right yeah i, I say that because i'm the same way right yeah. and i I use this moment to be transparent because shade think i'm upset about her having fun with her friends i'm not it's just my nigga i'm mm-hmm. focused on one thing and i'm struggling about this nigga you should be focused on it with me so i feel that i feel I that I, I feel wanna like, like I don't think that's where I was. Nah, that's what you were saying. So that's what you were saying. You said, how can you have fun? So when I, you said that. You said that. Now you, it, it's on breathe? audio. Can you breathe? It's on audio. You, you said it. Purpose what I was saying. Nah, nah. They heard you. They heard you. They heard you. He works with a flipping Nah. It's fine. I can flip it, but they heard you. One thing. Listen, one thing that don't lie is the audio. That they ain't gonna lie. You literally said, how can you? If you said that, let me clarify. <laughs> you let me clarify the stance, okay? I spent a large portion of my traumatic life worrying. Mm-hmm. I'm not a worrier. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I live my life because what is destined for me is going to be here regardless. So yeah. in the midst of me trying to get to where I'm go, I am super entitled to enjoy life at the same time. Yeah, I do not believe in stressing myself out about life and what's about to happen and not at least giving back myself some right. joy. I don't think, I think this whole struggle buddy act for me, that's not, that's not where I'm at. However, I do understand that there's people opposite of me. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, 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 Cause the, the motherfucker, I ain't done. We're going to another you know 20. What I'm saying? I ain't done. I ain't done. So as I said before, Jay said he wasn't upset. However, he was un not understanding how I'm out having fun and he's out here worried and whatever. Yeah. I do think this a certain level of boundaries you have to have for yourself. Like I do not mind, you know, being there with you through everything, but I also have to know what joy what brings me joy out of life that yeah. keeps me up to keep going. I think it's the balance. It's a balance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Balance. So I cannot always sit in disdain and worry and stress. I have to like, you know what? Life is gonna be whatever it's supposed to be right now because God said so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God has the answer. So if wherever space I'm in right now is because he allowed it. So therefore yeah. I can find the joys out of whatever brings me joy and mm. life to continuously yeah. allow me to keep going. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because if I stop that, then I'm gonna be miserable. Then guess what? I get little anxiety you yeah. know what i'm saying i get like i i, I can't continue on with a clear mind right. to get down what i'm trying to right. get done because i'm stressed so like, yeah. you know what i'm saying so this that's is, just what it is toxic J. that's fine so for me right i think <laughs> honestly i think it's about balance and timing mm -hmm. and that goes into my favorite part about sade so if we mm -hmm. want to be have have fun with toxicity Give me my, motherfucking fun. Uh -huh. my favorite part about sade is that she Here's the is, is she introduced me to balance Right, mm -hmm. I love the fact that she's introduced me to balance. It's like you want to be, you want to balance things. You want to like, you know, look at things from a different perspective. Like I love all of that. Mm -hmm. Right. So I got to ask you, right? <laughs> right in the moment. The right? same, the same, the same yeah. reason I love yeah. you would be the same reason I hate you. I feel okay. like in that moment you don't be taking your advice. And what I mean is like you know like I love the fact that she introduced me to balance. But now that I know about balance, I'm like oh whoa whoa. Doo, 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 doo. And Tana's like, balance, now I know. <laughs> so, but that's you wanna, your balance. You, right? you can't call for my balance. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. All I'm saying your is. Your balance is yours. Hey, hey, all I'm saying is, in moments, right, if I'm worried about something and your fun time or your you time is taken away from that something, then that may put me in a different space that's it yeah. i'm not i'm not saying you're wrong for i'm not yeah. i'm not negating nothing yeah all i'm saying is it could look like something right. else to me if i'm worried mm -hmm. hypothetically if i'm worried about that's money and you out spending money i could be frustrated right. not saying that that's mm -hmm. what happened but i'm saying like mm -hmm. it could is, right you get yeah. what i'm saying but my favorite part about sade is the fact that she introduced me to balance Honestly, how you give me a favorite part and take away from it at the same no, no, time? I, I, I did it. I did it before. I'm so it's like, I was being I want, fair. I want, I want a part where you don't take away. No, from it. I did it before. Else. Did I not? Did I <laughs> Next. When you said your favorite part, then I, I asked. You did. Right. So I'm being <laughs> fair. So again, I'm being fair. I'm trying to be <laughs> like, fair. Right. So my, but again, what I was about to say is before you took away from yourself, I have so many part, sure. favorite parts of Shade because <laughs> she has introduced me to many different things. Mm -hmm. The balance part, mm -hmm. right? The nurturing part. The and I think we spoke about this during um Valentine's Day. Like it's so many parts that I love about Sade because it's like in the moment I hate it, but after that moment I realized how much I needed it. Mm. So it's like that right there. The difference right. is what I love about mm -hmm. Sade because yeah. that if you have no differences, you cannot grow. Right. Yeah. Like, right. yeah exactly. Right. Anybody right. that right. that allows you and encourages and like inspires you to become better, mm -hmm. you know, it's like to grow, it. be a better person. Yeah. It's like that's the best. What's your favorite mm -hmm. part about Fun Show? Oh, uh, now you're taking forever. You took, you took too long. Ella, yeah. that's so <laughs> far. She ain't even... It was Maybe she got a lot of... Maybe she got a lot of... Maybe she got a lot of... Yeah. That's my man. It was you quick, took a deep breath. It was, it was an awkward space. I didn't like it. I didn't like only it. only breathed. God damn. She took a breath. Right. So she could get all her words together that she had to say because there's so many. Yeah. Shade's my girl. Exactly. Like, we gonna get along quite okay. well. Like, you feel me? But it's like... With Funcho, I feel like, and I want to look at you and I do want to address you, like, because I know Funcho, like, I am a very tough person to deal with. Like, online, y'all see this, like, yeah. hi, everyone, it's <laughs> Rorale! And, like, but in person, it's like, 
I'm Rara the fucking monster. And yeah. it's like, it's just a lot. Like, I can I, see that. I yeah. can be a lot. You yeah. like it? No, no, see that? no. no. <laughs> I, where you're going, I can see him being able to. Oh, okay, to, okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so it was a compliment. Right. It was a co- I can see him being patient. Yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah. And like, so with Funjo, he's very patient because I'm a lot, like, I'm a very big personality. Yeah. And he's more like on reserved. the chill side, mm-hmm. very reserved. Mm-hmm. And it's like, obviously, like, it's like, I don't know. He just loves me no matter what it you come is. With. Like, yeah. and it's just like, he's so supportive. Like, it's like, do you need this? Do you need that? And then it's just like, then it's like, I mean, he, he a nice little sex to wake up to, yeah. too. <laughs> and my mom always told me that. She was like, you have to be attracted to the person that you're yes. with because that person is going to piss you off. Yeah. And you if you are not attracted, nerves. if you're waking up in the morning, you're like, this ugly ass nigga, like, if you don't you're do not, it's not going <laughs> to over you. But if you're attracted to that person and they're fine, like, it's you're like, like, let me get on my nerves, okay, but nigga, you look good. Right. Like, why are you fine and yeah. annoying me? Like, yeah. and so. I be thinking the same thing about Shada, even when she had the, the Meek Mill brace. And I be like, damn. <laughs> You look good. Say, I wish you would say, I don't say I it. I call mine Sealy. Oh, <laughs> mine's just a meek Millie. Yeah, I said my Sealy braids. But um, yeah, like, Funcha just is like so understanding <laughs> and so like considerate and just really like puts me first. I've never been put first before, like, Aww. by anyone that I've ever dated. Like, I've yes. been in like super abusive, physical, yeah. mentally, emotional. like, emotional, yeah. like, just horrible ass relationships yeah. and it's like the for the first time like i feel seen feel loved Damn. So it's nice yeah <laughs> i make sure i get my car to, to learn some things yeah babe what's your favorite part <laughs> my favorite part about jay is i love that he is such a hard worker because it motivates me like yeah. you know what i mean because at the end of the day like again um i'm newer into the creative entrepreneurship life of that side but like you know prior to that like it was crazy i was just talking to my friend about this you know i always knew i had to have a good job to maintain a lifestyle i want right so i always strive to get a good job but i never really strive to do things that i like to do like on the outside and i think it's important seeing that that's possible and i feel like jay showed me that that was possible like you know to have it all, still do that, and still go after right. and chase your dreams. Like, don't work all this time and not go chase the things that you love right. to do. And I think that's, you know, just fundamental for the fact that so many people do not go after the things that they love to do and they waste their whole entire life right. working a nine to five, just yeah. doing the bare minimums and low key being miserable about it. Yeah. Like, you're never happy unless you're really doing something that you love to yeah. do. And because I've been able to tap into things I love to do, it's given me a level of happiness that I haven't yeah. witnessed before. Right. So, like, you know, that's like really profound for me because he introduced me to that. It's, it's, it's like I knew pieces of it. Like, I was trying before right. him, but the way I seen him move and really get it, it was so inspirational. And I used to be like, I, I'm not going to lie. I used to be like, I never was really. I never really had a real role model or like inspired yeah. by somebody directly. Like I like things they did, right. but I was really inspired by Jay. And yeah. that was like Damn. the first time ever. That's crazy. I didn't, yeah. I always be on Shadow your shit because like, yo, you're so full of yourself. Like for the hear you say that, that's dope. But to, but to but Can to be say- to, <laughs> but no. To be transparent though, you know, like um that's dope that you feel that yeah. way. And it's crazy because even throughout this whole conversation, mm-hmm. there was moments where like you was like agreeing with her and mm-hmm. I was like on one side, but I'm agreeing on the other side, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So like far as like you saying that um he puts you first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like my first thought was, damn, I can learn from that. So mm-hmm. I might have joke, like I might mm-hmm. call you, right? But the fact that she admires that my mm-hmm. hard work, like cause mm-hmm. yeah. to be honest, and I'm gonna be very yeah. transparent. Yeah. There's so many times where I don't put Shade first mm-hmm. because I'm putting my work first because I'm focused, right? Mm-hmm. But I admire you, Fun Show mm-hmm. Fun Show on a on a way that is like, damn. How can I start to put my woman first? Right? Yeah. I think that's dope. Mm-hmm. But to hear that she it admires me, yeah. she admires right. me for from the same thing my that you hard think work. Right? Think yeah. that you need yeah. to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that's but dope. Again, but I still want to. I, think it's, balance. I think it's balance. Yes. I still yeah. think it's a balanced level. You know what I'm saying? Because even being aspired, you know, like it's crazy when I'm talking to my friends and I'm motivating my friends in these fields yeah. now because they're like, girl, you doing your thing. But I'm like, well, girl, da da da. I always bring up Jay. Like I'm yeah. like, yeah, because Jay, because he be, you know what I'm right. saying? Like look to creatives like Jay, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because that's where I get my, you know, right. like, and I understand, but like you said it's balanced because even though it's not necessarily that i would want to be put first above the things that he dreams to do however consideration is enough like sometimes it's just a consideration like if i'm gonna 
do this. Hold up. Let me make it align so that, you know, my relationship isn't on the back burner You're for right. that. Yeah. Or if it's if I'm going to make this decision, make sure. Like I talk with Shade about it so she knows where it's going yeah. without me just, you the know what I'm saying? Like it's just, right. Yeah. So it's not necessarily that I would, because I think I'm even in a place like when it comes to my happiness and that comes from, you know, stability and work, but also being able to trace my dreams, my daughter being happy. I don't really think I'd put nothing before that just yeah. to be frank. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I understand that level. However, I will always take him into consideration on right. whatever I do because whatever I do does affect yeah, and Sade, yeah. Time, Sade next definitely game. made me um that's why I say the yeah. difference is right. I said so many things because Sade made me made me accept vacations. Mm. Right? Like I'm and I, actually I, be comfortable and enjoy right, it. Right, because yeah. like okay. not even enjoy it, like right. wanting to do it. Because, Jay did not want to take no vacation. Bro, I don't yeah. like it. Like, 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 if, if I, miss, I don't work. If it's a yeah. vacation, yeah. honestly, because the type of work I'm mm -hmm. in, it's like we get paid to travel. Yeah. So yeah. if I'm going anywhere new, I need to be getting paid to do that. Like I never said, I never forget out. I always said I never want to go to Miami unless I'm getting paid. Right. Yeah. Right? God bless it. Happened and I was with Sade, but it's like, mm -hmm. yo, that's what I want. But mm -hmm. Sade showed me that, like, yo, it's another side of that. Yeah. And yeah. nobody nobody else has yeah. gave given me that side or motiv yeah. motivated me. But then me that's that also that the same thing as like like how we said we were going to festivals, we were doing right. all this stuff, yeah. but then it's work. It's still working. Yeah. Like, it's work. So then you're not really off. you're yeah. not able to fully relax, relax. with right. that. Exactly. Like, and, and, you so, know, I'm just a firm believer, you know. I think we probably all been through our fair share of stuff in life and just like everybody else, but I'm just a firm believer, like Bro, I don't give a damn where we've been. We all deserve a level of luxury because we just yeah. exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not because of anything right. else. I don't give a damn. Right. Because you are here and you made it, bro. You that. deserve yeah. it. You like, I don't care. While you're like, you have to live while you're living. Like, you know, and the same thing I teach my daughter. Like, you know, we just had this conversation. You know, I was always a little wary of taking her abroad so young, but I told her as soon as she turns 13, we're going to travel the world because even she needs to know, like, Bro, yeah. the world is so much bigger than what we're shown yeah, right. or what yeah. what our environment is or where we've been conditioned to think. Like, go see the world. Yeah. See right. things you like because I really truly believe you are your experiences. Like, Not you are facts. your experiences. And if you don't get them, yeah. you know no, what I'm saying? So you, you, you limit yourself. And like, I feel like as yeah. Americans, like, so me and Punta is different. Like, so I am Nigerian, but mm -hmm. I'm Nigerian American. We're mm -hmm. both Nigerian American at this point, but Puncho lived in Nigeria mm -hmm. for seven years before he came over. I was mm. born in yeah. Baltimore. And so it's like sometimes you're just so close minded that like you think like even like for example, like even just certain rules, yeah. regulations, like you're so like well in America like, mm -hmm. and like there's over a hundred America is not the world like, America is yeah, not the world it's not just it, that it's, it's crazy like, I, yeah. it's so much bigger and I think I got that because you know you I was so born much. in Jamaica but okay. I moved here when I was four gotcha so but my mom used to let me fly by myself back then it was safe to do when right. you were a flight attendant yeah to fly with your kid yeah I used to fly by myself back home and then to Trinidad. Wow. So I, and then also, you know, I never forget this shit. I never will forget my mom about this. <laughs> we were just talking about this with my daughter. My, my, my daughter's like, absolutely not. My mom sent me back to Jamaica for a year when I was like 10. Oh wow. After being in America, in the country. Yeah. Going to school. They did that to my cousin and I. Yo, that's why I refused to go to Nigeria. But you know what? I appreciate it's so much as an adult mm. because I was able to see so many different sides of living. I can appreciate certain things differently because I seen it in a way where, yo, like, bro, we, I, I was like, ma, you really sent me somewhere where I had to take fucking showers outside. Like, yeah. what the fuck? No hot water, cold water. Right. You know what I'm saying? Granted, it's hot, but like, I gotta take showers outside right. and, and scorching cold yeah. water. Like, right, right. the audacity for me, how dare you? Yeah. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> but like, it was so important for yeah. my upbringing because like, it really did something where, bro, the world is so Much big. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And I just wanna say, yeah. yo, I just, I wanna end on this, you know, like, yeah. Through all the toxicness yeah. and the toxic, toxic, J. toxic, toxic, whatever, toxic, toxic, toxicity. Yeah. Yo, at that the end one. of the day, yo, shout out to love. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Shout yes. out to being there for your motherfucking partners. Yes. Hey, man, I love you, shorty. Love you real. Throughout, throughout it all. Yes. Mm. Damn. Ooh. Plug yourself. Episode. Plug you guys. Tell them, tell them where to follow you at and everything. Yeah. So what you guys doing and everything? What make, you doing? To the whole spill. Okay. So the whole spill. <laughs> I Ro actually. Ro 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 about to give us a short little sec. Okay. Follow me on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what you do? Where you at? Where you at? Yeah. So 
I just transitioned from working, um, earning six figures, like Let's working go. with the IT company. And now I transitioned to just working full time for just myself. So it's a new playing field, but it's not it's new in the aspect where like. I'm not working for somebody else, mm -hmm. but um, not in matters of experience and stuff. So right now I'm working on an influencer course. Um, I used to work with Bumble and handle their influencer. Uh, I was influencer media manager. So working on that and then also just working on my personal projects as well. Um, so transitioning into that, it's definitely a new time. I'll be sharing <laughs> the journey with everybody, just letting everyone know how it's going and then helping everyone on my way as well. But you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm Raro Lay on everything. So that's R A R O L A E on Twitter. I'm the Raro Lay because for some reason someone took Raro Lay <laughs> and I just don't understand. Like it's not a common name. Yet. So it's very not. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a common name. But like yeah, I'm the Raro Lay on uh, Twitter. So follow me on there. I am quite entertaining. You will be <laughs> amused. So definitely follow me on there. And uh, for me, um, just, you know, just continuing to, like, finish up music and try to put out, uh, you know, good music that make people feel good. Um, just finished up my album, which I don't have a name for yet, but yeah. um, will be out this summer. I though. was the main inspiration. Yes, that oh, is true. Oh, it's giving Marvin Marie. It's giving Marvin Marie. It's giving Marvin Okay, Marvin's hey, yeah, all right. <laughs> Marvin and... Hey, can Marvin. I just say, I had to tell Fun Show, like, you know, he was working with one of my friends years ago. I heard him sing years ago. The boy can blow. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Just let me hear him <laughs> say, the boy can blow. Okay? <laughs> Tell him. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, um, my album will be dropping. Um, I don't want to give a date or a time frame yet, but it is finished. So we're, you know, we're going to be dropping singles um, between now and the next like few months. Um, and um, other than that, um, I'm wearing... It's super dope, too. It's super dope. It's oh, super you. fresh. Like, it's <laughs> a different like angle of him as well. So it's really excellent. You're going to see different sides of Funcho that you haven't seen before. I couldn't have said yeah. better myself. <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying about your clothes? Oh, yeah, this shirt. Yeah. Um, so this shirt right here is from my brand of like streetwear that's going to be coming out. Um, it's, the brand is called Made by the Fam. And um, I'm just going to have a line. Of, it's going to start with a small line of shirts, um, but then it's going to grow from there. But yeah. look out for that. And uh, you can follow me at Funcho Music. Uh, that's Funcho, F-U-N-S-H-O, Music. Uh, on all platforms. Yeah. Yo, man. Uh, great episode. Episode 61. Gemini Scorpio podcast. We appreciate you guys for pulling up. Yeah. Uh, definitely great conversation even yes. after the 30 minutes that we wasted. <laughs> right. yeah. So shout out to the real energy, man. Yeah. It was an the, investment because yeah. it set the vibe. Yes, so, yeah. it shout yeah. out to the team, man. We definitely appreciate you. Shout out to everybody that subscribed that tunes into us yes. every uh, Sunday. Um, well, Monday every and Monday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm wild. It's okay. Yeah. Sunday too, though, because they be tuned in and yeah, watching yeah. behind the scenes. Nah, facts. So yeah. We thank you for real. We can't, we can't thank you enough, man. Facts. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 61. And we are out.